Good afternoon, gamers, and welcome to Lazy Sunday Afternoon Minecraft with TriadGamers.com. I am your temporary host, Belmont. I am one of the three Triad Gamers. Um, our usual host, Nick, uh, was out performing some civic duties today. Uh, he volunteers with the Election Commission in our town here of Madison, Wisconsin, and uh, they were just getting ready for an election that is happening on Tuesday. Obviously, being all safe and social distancing while doing so, hence the extra time and lead up. So, uh, I'm going to start uh, this afternoon's stream. Uh, usually, I am just the disembodied voice uh, that you hear whenever we do this. Uh, but I will uh, lead us off today, and then um, as we proceed, uh, we'll take a quick break, and then we'll get our regular Nick back, because frankly, uh, I kind of just enjoy doing this more with Nick. Uh, just having at least one of the two boyfriends on stream uh, with me is just a lot more fun. So speaking of streams and what we do, just in case you're curious, we are the Triad Gamers. We're a gamer thruple that lives here in Madison, Wisconsin, and we love celebrating gaming uh, in all of its various forms. Uh, so feel free to visit our website. Check us out. Check out what we're about. Um... We do uh, board game reviews, uh, Magic the Gathering uh, Commander deck techs. Um, we also uh, do some uh, celebration of other content creators that either excite us or inspire us that we stumble across uh, over the internet. Uh, over the past weekend, we have met an amazing, amazing group of people. Uh, that, uh, especially in the D&D podcast area, we found so many great D&D podcasts, I'm not sure how I'm going to listen to them all, uh, at least not on normal speed. Um, uh, so, but we've just made some great friends, and that's kind of why we're doing this. So feel free to check us out down below uh, at TriadGamers.com. Uh, you can also obviously follow us here on Twitch. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, at TriGamers. We're also on Facebook and Instagram, although we don't have as much fun with those. So, anyway, so back to what we're doing today. Welcome to Lazy Sunday Afternoon Minecraft, a very, very, very casual Minecraft stream. Um, like I said, Nick will join us later. I think also friend Elvis, uh, who's been on this stream with us before, uh, has um, uh, already logged on. So, uh, why don't we get started with some of the stuff that we were going to do today. So, welcome to Triad Tower's office. Uh, yep, I see uh, friend Elvis up there. So, these are kind of some of the projects. Um, but, what I figured we'd do is start, since Nick isn't here yet, and I don't think he's watching the stream, because I don't think he's gotten back yet. Um, is that we might do the uh, Elvis and Belmont secret project uh, that uh, we have, which is actually not that big and it's not that secret. But Nick really wants some jungle wood and some cocoa beans out of this. So just give me one second here. Um... All right, so friend Elvis will be back in a moment. Minecraft and its audio gets so weird. All right, seriously though, look at how cool this is. And of course I'm giving him props after he's logged off of the game. This little pride bed setup was all Elvis is doing and I'm living for it, honestly. Uh, this is just cool. Uh, he, he worked really hard on that. Actually, I actually found his wool cache uh, late last night, and I accidentally raided it. Then I remembered a project that he was going to be working on with all the wool, so um, that. So anyway, the super secret project, again, that Elvis and I are going to do that is we're going to do some exploring, and we're going to uh, um, go try and find some jungle. Now, if things seem just a little... If I seem a little shaky while doing this, this is not my rig. This is Nick's. Uh, rig Nick's computer at the moment is the official streaming computer until our new one gets here hopefully in about a couple weeks um, So I was fortunate enough to at least be able to bring my own mouse. So I at least had some Control but there that seems more like it 
So, um, do to do to do do to do do to do. We'll just wait for Elvis, but we're gonna go exploring, so we're gonna need some supplies. So, let's see. Yep, there he is. Friend Elvis is back. So yeah, I figured we'd go exploring. We'll grab a couple of the horses. So we should probably bring uh, some stuff. Maybe like a crafting table. Um, ladders never hurt. Also, I think I've got a bucket of water up here. That will also never hurt. I've got some torches. I've got my normal good tools. Uh, let's see. Um, compasses are downstairs. We're going to need compasses. Um, we should probably grab some food, of which there's just food everywhere. Uh, in that. Probably best to grab that from the boathouse. Oh, yeah. Probably a boat won't hurt. Um, compass. Elvis, I have a compass, but uh, I'm not sure if there's a second one up there. Otherwise, we'll have to make one for you real quick. Um, yeah, that makes Elvis officially smarter than I am. Okay. Um, let's see. A couple things. Ooh, we'll need some leads, which I think I've got some down here. No. Are you still in the storeroom, Elvis? Um, in the tools chest, the one with the ladder, uh, there's a couple of leads if you want to grab some, because we'll want to tie up the horses as we travel. Oh, beds. We'll need beds. <sighs> the thing about doing a tower setup like this is that if you forget something upstairs, quote unquote, all right, I've got a bed here. We'll need to make Elvis one. Uh, do, 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 do. So yeah, no tower set up if you forget something upstairs you're kind of kind of uh, out of luck with it now don't get me wrong we've created a lot of stairways and a lot of elevators we just thought kind of creating a tower base was going to be really really cool um elvis also by the way one of your bees is in a boat just saying um all right so elvis has the leads i was grabbing food uh, as you can see, food is definitely not a hardship at the moment. Uh, Nick and Elvis have been hard at work. Um, I think that should be it. Alright, I'm going to toss a bet at you. Oh, you. You know what, I'll be nice and give you the nice looking one too. So, <coughs> excuse me, I say we saddle up. I think I have a direction for us to go. All right, yeah, you've got destiny. I really don't care. You're kind of pretty, so I don't want, I want to make sure nothing happens to you on this adventure. So I will grab this one. Oh, oh. I hadn't gotten out. <laughs> Oh, no wonder. Somehow, I didn't realize this one was still tied up. There we go. Sorry about that unnamed horse who I will probably eventually name. All right, so let's go south through Mordor. Or is that south? Let's see if that's south. No, let's go north through Mordor, and then we're going to go a little bit uh, west. So... Excuse me, more doors. Which, that, Elvis, will actually probably be our thing later. Um, is that we can make some improvements. I've got some ideas. As you can see, I've kind of been a little busy. <laughs> yeah, well, I think there was a zombie attack, though, earlier today. And um, I think uh, we have to... Get these villagers, um, 
Ah, screw it. We're not a safe for work stream anyway. Uh, I think we have to get these villagers in the mood, if you know what I mean. So we'll come back and do that later. So, yeah, I don't think either Nick or I have been down in this direction. Maybe Nick has in that little, like, jaunt he took. Uh, Elvis, just uh, give a type if you see something worth seeing. We are looking for jungle. And knowing my luck, I grabbed the horses. Yep, I'm already starting to get worried that we're only going to go so far with the horses. But you never know. I'd rather have one and tie it up and take a boat than not need it. Ooh. More chunks are loading. Probably best to go around this way. Ooh. I have fallen. Let me not fall. Yeah. Sorry, Silver. Yeah, maybe I should name you Silver, even though, like, you are completely brown. Which is a beautiful, beautiful color on you. Just... It's supposed to be Hi-Ho Silver. Alright. This is why Nick doesn't like taking horses, is that get, he gets stuck in trees. And I do too, but I don't mind it as much for just due to the convenience. Yeah, no, I agree. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Especially for the amount of distances. And actually, uh, what's sad is like after they made an update and you could like, you know, do that thing where you could tie up the horses. I think that was an update that shows you how well informed I was. I didn't even, I don't even know if that's always been that way or if it was an update, but, uh, I only learned that maybe last year. Yeah. I think we've reached the end of the line for the horses. So also the sun's getting real low. So let's dismount. Um, I am at negative 867, negative 776. And I accidentally just saved a screenshot. Come here, horsey. You are not supposed to wander off. Here, Elvis, well, uh, why don't I go to bed and then we'll make sure that we get meat meet up to do to do so it's a beautiful coastline while i'm here one thing i forgot and nobody's going to miss this oak tree As I appreciate the environment, I want to make sure I plant a few more. See some compounds, ooh, some dolphins. Let's see if we can find Elvis real quick. Oh. You ever feel like somebody's watching you folks? Ah, there he is. So yeah, Elvis, I'm saying, why don't we tie up here and go by boat? See what we can find. Alright. You have a boat? Otherwise, I can make you one real quick. I have wood. Do you need wood? Or oh, no, I got it. Just in case. Oh, Elvis, you just absorbed my. 
That's fair. That's fair. That's actually half the reason why Nick isn't with us at the moment. I think he's eating some lunch after getting back from what he was doing. Yeah, I need my crafting table, which I think you absorbed. Also, give this chunk a little bit more time to look. Thank you. I do you want us to wait a bit? Or nope. Okay. Now, if we see anything underwater, uh, I'm going to kind of try and avoid it. Um, Trident throwing drowned are definitely a issue for me at times. Wow, we went really far with this boat. Uh, and don't worry, Elvis, I have a screenshot so we won't lose the horses. I know where they're tied up. God, I love this texture pack. I got... When our new computer gets here, I might make sure I put it on what will become mine. To do... I think Elvis is going by water, which is just fine. Lots of pigs, another plane. Actually, Elvis, there's a very good chance that we're going to stumble across, ooh, more horses, uh, another village. I think we're still kind of on the same axes a little bit. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, beautiful horses. And a big sandy ravine. Let's not get on the edge of that s sand. Ooh, some acacia. Which I believe we have back at Triad Tower. Uh, the one thing we didn't test before we started stream was uh, getting my HUD. Oh, wait a minute. Actually. There we go. Uh, Elvis, where you at? Hey, peace is a necessary part of life, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> All right. Just making sure Elvis catches up with us, or I catch up with him. Oh, there, I see him. I'm sailing your way. Okay, sorry. I promise to try and not uh, sing that much on stream. Nick is the singer in the family, I assure you. Alex can sing too. I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket with a lid. Yeah, folks, I don't know. I'm not seeing any jungle here. Just a lot of oak. A lot of birch. A lot of things that haven't loaded yet. Just fine. Maybe that's the reason we haven't come across another village like on this axis is uh there's a lot of uh ocean. <laughs> K 
getting settled. Oh. That sound usually means danger, so running. Oh, some spruce, which Elvis has been kind enough to grow in multitudes. Back at Triad Tower. Near dolphins. I now Nick is more familiar with like a lot of the updates that they've made over the years with Minecraft. Uh, I just am kind of the uber casual player, but I'm very curious to see. Are dolphins just decorations? I mean, I know that they can also grant a buff sometimes. Just make sure that we haven't lost Elvis. Nope, we have not lost Elvis. I've been known to just run off. Ooh, turtles. More spruce. A lot more spruce. Banana. And this is a dead end. Turning around. Womp womp. Yeah. Eh. Them's the brakes when traveling by boat. I am curious, though. You know what, stupid me, what we really should have done is actually taken the saddles off the horse, off the horses, and if we had found any new ones, we can make some temporary friends. I'm saying let's disembark here. Oh, I should eat something. I should eat something. Let's see what we can see. Oh, baby sheep. Oh, so cute, baby sheep. Ooh, an actual desert. Or maybe this is the desert that one of you two found for cactus. Sun's getting real low. Um, Elvis, do you also have my bed? Or did I not break my bed? Uh, yeah. So I think you're the only one with a bed. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, seriously, this expedition and the Donner party are having a little bit too much in common at the moment. Just doomed from the start. And yes, on a not safe for work stream, I can make a Donner party Donner party reference. Do -do 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 -do. Giggity. Anyway, moving on from that. So I actually figured maybe later on in the stream, uh, when Nick gets back, we can uh, uh, work on some village improvements, breeding those villagers, making more houses, and beautification of our town. I'm, I, I like the idea that it's growing so much with uh, triad towers looking over it. Yeah. Ooh. 
A desert structure of some kind. Um, I'll be damned, it might be. Yes. Oh, hello, villagers. Ooh. I haven't actually seen the updated desert towns yet with these villagers. Hell, I just found out earlier today that villagers can have uh, different skins based on their town. So, alright, how about I not approach you with an axe and instead approach you with a torch? Hey, come here. I want to talk to you. You, Who are you? What are you? Alright, you're unemployed. Oh my god, I love these doors. I love the acacia doors in this uh, text pack. Alright, apologies to anybody getting motion sickness. Eh, cactus and wheat. We're not going to take their cactus and wheat. It's not worth the inner space. But wow, this texture pack along with those updates. This is really pretty. I haven't found anybody with a profession yet. I hear a spider. Probably a cavern underneath. These things always... So we got a nice little farmer. <laughs> you know. Oh, did you like tame it or did you find it? Oh, kitty. Oh. Uh, there's two new ones that spawned near Mordor's, by the way. Um, alright, well, if you've got a cat in tow, maybe we should just think about heading back? Um, what I'm going to do real quick is take a screenshot for Nick to look at later in case he wants to come back to that. Um, did you lose the cat? Oh no, he'll follow. All right. Um, then we should head back carefully. Carefully. Because the thing is, I'm not sure if the cat will cross an ocean unless you put it in a boat. So. But he's a beautiful kitty. So I don't. Well. Yeah, but I also want more for Trident Tower. I'm. We'll head back a different way, though. So yeah, I've never had a lot of luck bringing tamed animals across oceans, but I know, right? Yeah, we don't have any melons back at Tri Tower, I don't think. So, um, if we run across quickly to the river, the cat should be able to get across just fine. Oh, goodness gracious. You got him. I just stood there and looked pretty. But let's see if he's got any friends, shall we? Not that I see.
Anyway. Um, do you have a bucket on you? Otherwise, I have a bucket. I have a I have a bucket for you. So what he's talking about, folks, is uh. Gosh, why is he always so more prepared than I am? Um, what he's talking about, folks, is um he is probably under the voluntary exile debuff. Uh. Um, or I think voluntary exile is the name of the achievement. Uh, for killing the illager. Uh, which means that, yeah, Bad Omen, thank you. Uh, which means that uh, he shouldn't go into a village for a little bit. But. Is Kitty still with us? Alright, well you better start thinking about names. And then thinking about more names, because like, you know, you're going to have two cats and you know what's going to happen. Uh, Elvis's household and our triad gamer household is uh, definitely a cat friendly place. So, making our way back. Yeah, so we didn't find jungle, but we found a kitty. I consider that a win. All right. Now, as I understand it, Elvis, you should probably put down your boat. And then put the cat on a lead, and I think you can lead the cat into the boat. Yes, yeah, so now you can sail in the boat with the cat. Yes, and this is how you would transport it all. Yeah, I know, right? Back at Triad Tower. <laughs> this is how you get uh, livestock and live mobs across oceans. All right. I'll lead the way. You keep an eye on Kitty. We'll just make sure not to run across any guardians or any drowned with tridents. Um, it does mean, though, that we'll have to pull over at some point uh, soon just to sleep. But we'll get us back there. So yeah, sorry folks, no jungle. We think the cat's too important. Also, it's just a nice coloring. I haven't seen that coloring yet. So, and we were gonna try and surprise Nick with fresh baked cookies, because Nick actually, like, in real life, baked fresh baked cookies yesterday for us, and they were delicious. So. See, this is what you get with me hosting folks. I just ramble, ramble, ramble. Ramble, ramble. Yeah. Elvis, it looks like we're going to have to disembark here. Yeah. We have our wholesome moments. Get out of the boat. See? And now Kitty... Come on, Kitty. You might have to put a lead on him to get him out. There you go. God, poor kitty doesn't like to get wet. <laughs> All right, and this way. It looked like it. I, I, I. Sorry, I wasn't really like paying attention. Uh, Cause I'm self-centered like that. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, just saw a chat there. Uh, so this is our friend Elvis, who uh, joined our Minecraft server on Minecraft Realms uh, and has been just helping out with building projects and then doing some building projects of his own. And, 
yep, he has a kitty. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching slash listening. Honestly, I think there were a decent stream to listen to. Uh, do, 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 do. Wow, that was really windy. But it got the job done. Anything immediately exploratory there? Yep. And Jimmy, part of the reason that we're doing some of the projects on this server is so we can have a server that all of our friends that want to uh, can join us. So, we even have a whole welcome center that we built. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you've got a headache. Ugh, those are bad. I've had those lives. How are you distracted by... Oh, yeah, duh. I'm like, why are you distracted by a cow? I forgot. I'm sorry. I, again, see above RE self-centered. <laughs> ah! So I see uh, Nick himself has entered chat. Hi, Nick. Uh, which means that he is probably home, decontaminated, and enjoying some fried chicken. Uh, we're going this way. So yeah, Nick, Elvis and I were going to try and surprise you with some jungle wood. But we didn't encounter any jungles. We did encounter a cat. And so we're like, screw it, let's bring the cat back. Uh, I think it's boat time again. Sorry, kitty. Oh, I got your lead. Where'd you go? All right, hold on. Ah, do you have another lead on you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Come on land, please. This is easier done on land. <laughs> and boom. There you go. All right, let's be pirates. So a nice little turtle island there. That's not a good sound. So we just keep moving forward, don't look back, and pray, pray, pray to the Minecraft gods. Let's see if we can swim or, or swim around this uh, boat around this. Belmont knows words. Yeah, probably best to disembark, honestly. A straight shot's probably better. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, and I see Kitty. Good. And do, do, do. Watch out for the gorge here. Ravine, gorge. Kind of similar. I know there's, there's probably a difference. <laughs> swimming, swimming, swimming. Alright, Nick, I promised the audience I wouldn't like sing on stream anymore because I don't want to inflict that on people.
You know, since we're here, just in case my memory is incorrect, I am going to grab me... Ooh, that one's nice and simple. Get it. There we go. Can I grab me some of this wood just in case? Oh, I should probably wait for saplings. I am the audience and I demand to be serenaded. Sing, damn it. I am not some trained monkey. Actually, I am, but whatever. No offense to the monkey community that might be watching. <sighs> sapling dance, sapling dance. <sighs> dance party. <sighs> While this like mother cow and baby cow are just looking at us going, what the hell are these two doing? And like any cat, the cat is probably standing or walking there judging us. Come on, drop a freaking sapling. Now, I think I'm going to leave the singing to the singer in the family, my love. Oh, good. Sticks dropped. Oh, yeah, we'll cut down another tree. That'll speed it up. Try not to deforest the area. Goodness gracious. Is there anything immediately exposed down here? Did you really just go there? Did you really just go there? sweetie. Alright, I'm impatient. Alright, I got one. I, yeah, I thought we had some. I thought the only wood we were missing is junk, jungle. Yeah, no, this was a lot easier to find the junk hole. Hi, horsies! Alright, I should probably eat something. Kitty's still with us? Yep, kitty. Careful, the horsey kitty. Alright, let's keep moving. Yeah, it's content, like the lure people say. Yes, but we want content that people are actually going to enjoy and come back and watch. So. Oh, do do do. There's some spruce. Shoot, I should have left something for all this. Nope. I was coming back to rescue you. <laughs> and since we're here, I'll just grab that. Thank you. And True. I mean, but nothing's going to make uh, Jimmy hate you more than, uh, I don't know, killing him in one turn in a game of Dungeon Mayhem, but, you know, I'm not one to, like, dredge up the past. <sighs> Natural lava pool. What just moved me? Looked like I was moved. Uh, Elvis, are you going Betty Bye? Oh, yep. right in front of me. 
right in front of me. Actually, I did try and get a skeletal horses for us to do this uh, whole run. Oh, I fell down the hole. I got I got myself out. Just give me a second. Yep, and free. Careful, kitty. Well, we're seeing some oak and bur ooh, a natural llama. I mean, we got plenty of llamas back at Triad Tower now, but because some irresponsible wandering trader, trader, not traitor, wrong kind of game, uh, left them. Do up the mountain we go. I mean, Elvis, if you want to tame the llama, uh, basically get on it like it would be a horse, and that should tame it. And then, in theory, it should follow you. Otherwise, you would have to use a lead. You just wait for the hearts to come. It might kick you off a few times. Or if you hit E and you actually get a menu, that means you've tamed it. Yes, yeah, so in theory it should follow. Otherwise, yeah, it'll definitely follow with the lead, though. I mean, we can add it to the collection of llamas. I definitely foresee us doing uh, caravans. Yes, your first llama at least. Well, apparently Nick thinks that you've gotten a degree from the school of Dr. Doolittle. I mean, to be fair, we are now traveling with two different animals uh, uh, under your purview. <laughs> Working with preschoolers translates well. <laughs> yeah, that would be a thing. Do, do, do. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Alright. I think we're actually pretty close. Then we'll have to probably run back and get the horses after we secure your latest new companions, but that won't be much of a schlup. Ooh, 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 ooh. Into the woods? Oh, yeah, no, screw that. Actually, for some reason, that song from that musical, I don't know. All right, Nick, I am taking a screenshot of this for you to add to your collection of notes. All right, let's look for a chest. So, fire charge, a golden axe with curse of anaging. I'll take those, 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 those. You know what? I'm actually going to leave these last two things here, because if we ever do come and resurrect this portal, that would be useful. Um, I know what I do really want from a ruined portal now, though, is I want another bell. Mordor's is getting pretty large, and... Ooh. Actually, Elvis, let's go a little bit this way. I know our compasses don't say to do so, but I think I know. I think I know where we are now. I'm pretty sure I know where we are. And all the flowers that Elvis's bees could ever want. Oh, I got you another beehive, by the way. Uh, it popped up in Mordor's while I was building some of the new apartments. Into the woods, into the woods, into the woods, and out of the woods <laughs> for the swarm, and home before dark. There, yeah. 
you happy now? Actually, for a moment, I hadn't seen bees really well in this texture pack of Nyx, and that bee just almost scared the... Uh, you know what? Enough... Like, you know, enough commentary from you. How about you finish that fried chicken so you can get on here with us, and I can go back to being a disembodied voice. I like being a disembodied voice. Yeah, I hear you, zombie. I'm not impressed anymore, trust me. I'm not even wearing the good armor. <sighs> Actually, corn on the cob sounds really good. And I'm planning on grilling out tonight, but I don't have any corn. And I don't feel that craving is worth another run out into the real world today with everything going on. Which is why we are having a nice lazy Sunday afternoon of Minecraft. Oh, there are bunnies over here, so this must be where the bunnies might have come from. Goodness gracious. The reason I'm taking us over here is I'm pretty sure we're close to where the horses are. But... I also don't want to get kitty too wet. All right, if I don't see... Although, I mean, I know it was uh, definitely a little bit more this way, because I remember the last coordinate. All right, so is... I know we're on one axis, at least... Hmm. Yeah, Elvis, I think I led us astray. Or did you go straight back to... Oh, you can see Mordor's. All right. You take the llama and the cat there. I am going to try and find our horses. I'm pretty sure. I'm on the correct Z axis. I now just need to find the X point on that axis. I know. I seem close, but... Yeah. Sorry, all thoughts of cats and llamas just, like, wiped that from my brain. Alright. For some reason, the uh, Z-axis on this one really stuck out in my head. I don't know why. When we called it out. And you know what? I think I was going the right direction. But now I'm not. Alright, let's... Oh... I think it was in the negative 400s. So I am. Nope, nope, nope. I'm getting myself lost. And I. Well, Elvis has a bed and he's probably back at Triad Tower. So. Because he was smart and just kept going. Uh, 
Well, folks, what a terrible night for a curse. <laughs> True, priorities, priorities. All right, no, I gotta be close. I got to be close. Yeah, I know, I know. Where are those post-it notes, actually? Oh, they're there. Sorry, my phone was hiding them. Yes, this is why Nick leaves post-it notes to do this. This is also why Nick normally hosts the show, but... Because I am a very novice streamer. Alright, let's just head back to Triad Tower. I... I'll find these horses sometime soon. You see, now, the reason I don't believe you, Elvis, is because first I'd have to explain to my mom what Twitch is, as we have recently done to Nick's mom, and then explain to her how to, like, log in and participate in chat. So, I'm not buying this charade. Uh, let's head back to Mordor's. It isn't that far of a jaunt from Mordor's. I mean, <laughs> funny enough, I found... Horses But I did not find our horses Well, um Elvis <sighs> You're not you're not even on stream yet, and you're making Mean Girls references. One of the reasons why I love you, and why there are nights where I hold a pillow over your head for a little bit. <sighs> yeah. Alright, so Elvis, if you want to help look for the horses, this is the best thing to do, is... Find the uh, Z axis of 776. Negative 776, excuse me. So, yes, folks, this is our stream. Just, uh, no, that too. This is our stream. It's Belmont Lost the Horses. Considering all the other things that could have gone wrong with me being the host today, that's actually not that bad. <sighs> yes. Yeah, it is on brand. I'll, I'll, I'll grant you that. It's on brand. Oh, now I've gone too far. And now I've gone too far in the wrong way. You know what? Screw it. I actually know my way back to the horses from Triad Tower, so that's where I'm going to go. <laughs> you 
And knowing me, I'll probably grab another horse just to go find them. And again, I found horses, just not our horses. In theory, I should be coming up on Mordor's very soon. Because there's swamp. There's Dark Oak. Yep, there's Mordor's. Which means that the horses would be this way. So yeah... One of the cool things about Minecraft, folks, is that you are constantly learning new things. Like, I just learned that I could easily just offhand the compass and actually have it show me the way and not need to be taking up a full inventory slot while doing so. Um, so yeah, it's a game of constant learning, which I think is one of the reasons that I keep coming back to it over and over and over. I get in these Minecraft phases. All right, well, Elvis, I'm retracing our steps. Um, oh, wow, 860. Yeah, I was going the right way the first time, and I didn't get there, so... Oh, I haven't started making it. Oh, yeah, found my bed, too. All right, I'm on my way. I'm at negative uh, 500, so I am not, hopefully, too far behind. Yeah, this is looking like familiar forest. Oop, doop, doop, doop. Oh, I can't wait to get back to my keyboard. I did not lose my bed. I might have left it behind on accident. We only need one. Hi, B. Uh, yeah, this is probably going to be the last time Nick ever lets me host the Minecraft stream. If Elvis is somehow whipped out a beacon, I'm going to just die. Screw this. A little extra dirt won't hurt. I rhymed! Yes, I just fell into uh, a small underground water thing. <laughs> well, the reason I fell into that drop is I was looking at chat. Alright, I've got to be close. I've got to be close. I still don't see Elvis's poor man's beacon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute, is it a poor man's beacon because a poor man is on top of it, or what? <laughs> you know, I expected an arrow for that one. Thank you for helping guide the way, though. Alright. And I'll get the fence post... Um, did you grab my bed? Cool. And ride unnamed brown horse. Alright, folks. So this is what I think we're going to do. 
um, is get out of the trees, and then I think uh, Elvis, Destiny, Brown Horse, and I will uh, ride back to... You know what? This horse patiently sat waiting for my dumb ass to come and find it again. So, yeah. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Belmont, and now you may meet my new best friend for life, Wayfinder. <laughs> no, you name a gun, Patience. Oop, sorry, Wayfinder. Wayfinder. I like it. I know. I know. Maze of trees. And the moon shall rise. Did you just make a mahogany reference? Technically, it was a RuPaul's Drag Race love it uh, reference, but oh. all right. Well, we are close enough to Mordor's and Triad Tower that I am not worried about it being nighttime. I am also heavily armed and fabulous, as we said last stream. Actually, I'm there. Hi, creeper. Bye, creeper. Hi, zombies. Pillars of Flame. Bye-bye. And welcome to Mordor's. The ever-expanding village. Um, do, 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 do. Let's ride you back to Triad Tower. So, sometime after one of the breaks today, we will come back and take a look at Mordor's. Uh, we'll make sh we want to see if we can find our lost librarian. Um, uh, see about replacing him otherwise, him or her, uh, or them. Um, alright, Wayfinder, let's get you back in your stall. You know what? Nope, I don't have any apples, I don't have any sugar. You know what? Next time I'm in the stable, I'll bring you some sugar, because you've been really good. Alright. Um, fire charge. I forget where I've been putting those, but... Yeah, we had... I think we had a monster attack. Um, and the golems were all focusing on a different monster, and I think we lost... I always do that. I always do that. Um, yeah, I think we lost the Frostwalker Librarian. Brennan is good for right now. Although, I think it's time to build Brennan a house with possibly an iron door. Um, just to secure him. Um, did we put them in here? We're in here? Yeah, that's where we're putting them. Alright, folks. So, welcome back to Triad Towers. Horses are home. Everybody's fine. We only got lost a little bit. Yes. No, we will keep... No. It, after the break, we will build Brennan a house. We will keep Brennan safe. Uh, for those who haven't been following our previous streams, Brennan is our mending book-selling librarian. Uh, so we are highly invested in his safety. Um, also, it's why we also want to create some new villagers. So I think that, that we're going to play Village after the break, which is coming up now. Um, I need to take a quick break. Should be no more than five minutes with any luck, possibly some convincing and required. Nick will be back in the driver's seat hosting, uh, and I will return to being a disembodied voice. Uh, but we do appreciate your patience with me so far. Um, Justice for Frosty, yes. And we will go get Justice for Frosty all after we return to this Triad Gamers stream. Be right back, folks.
Hello! We are back with another Triad Gamers stream here on the Triad Gamers Gaming Network, I think is what we came up with. I don't know. Whatever he said earlier, just take that. Um, I am not Belmont anymore. I am, I am Nick. Uh, I, I had had some, some work to do um, across town, but then it finished up a lot earlier than I thought. So here I am. I'm back to be able to join in. Had to have some lunch, though, so that's why I didn't jump in right away. Um, yeah, wanted to pick up some Popeyes. Hashtag non-spawn, you know, but um, for what we do sponsor, though, is our own website, which is triadgamers.com. Um, great segues, always. Um, <laughs> there's there's blog posts, different kinds of things. Um, there may be videos of game playing in the future. We're contemplating. There may be a lot of other things, so stay tuned. You never know what you might see. Um, you also can find us on Twitter and Instagram, at triadgamers. Um, probably the best way to contact us if you have any ideas or things or want, want to see from us. Um, otherwise, interacting with the stream is always a good idea. Uh, so, I have no idea what was going on earlier or what the plans are, because I just was kind of thrown in. So, I'm just going to go about doing my thing. Uh, and we're going to see what There happens. were plans. Oh, okay. So, there are plans. Yes. Disembodied Voice of Belmont is back, by the way, too. Yes! I have returned to being <laughs> a disembodied voice, and I love it. You basically just, like, shoved um, me into the chair, so, you know, I presume that... You guys you guys apparently wore him out, and he needed a little bit more of a break, so... I don't know, I don't know what you all are doing, but... And I'm working on getting in right now. Just also doing? pulling up chat on my phone. Oh, I know what I was doing. Uh, actually, I should probably head back down there. I should probably turn off the stream volume on my phone. So, for those... Um, that are curious, because I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but, you know, I, I felt like the, uh, the train tunnel was a little boring. So, um, after the jar, you know, there's this nice cracked stone brick, which on here looks really nice, um, to really give you the feel of, you know, dying infrastructure, which is always a, a good feeling to put into, into a nice, it, it makes you feel good when you're traveling by train through something. I find cracked stone brick absolutely beautiful, personally. In fact, I I don't think it exists. I really should check this again at some point and see if they added it recently. But I would really be interested on um, basically doing mossy cracked stone brick if that was a thing, because I think that'd be really cool. Um, but you. Could but we are by a swamp. That would be somewhat easier. Well, I just I don't know if mossy cracked exists. Actually, I can check that, but. Uh, I'll check that a different day. Um, I know the mossy stone brick happens, and cracked stone brick is a thing, but I don't think the combination of the two of them are a thing. Um, so what, what's the plan for today? I don't actually know. The plan is is that we need to build a house around Brennan and keep him secure. I am just putting away... And then we need to breed new villagers. I Because we're not going to do a villager farm, which I'm totally in support of that concept of not doing one. Because that seems exceptionally tedious. But, um, we do need to get him secured and we need to breed some new villagers. I personally want um, a cleric in that village, That's which we have a brew stand. So... That's right, I'm just going to oh, grab some wheat then so we can start breeding him. Um, we have a crap ton of supplies down at the village. Yeah, but why not get more? True. Um, <laughs> if when you're looking at the sugar cane, I apologize. I had a little bit of a accident. I'll talk to you about it off stream. Um, but we're missing two things of sugar cane for right now. Don't ask. If this is secret project related, fair enough. No, the secret project was going to try and find you a jungle. Elvis oh. and I really tried to find you a jungle, and you're but we got distracted. Is, yeah. I mean, the no, I would. If we really, if we're really having trouble at some point, I can actually use like mapping stuff on the internet, and I can see where in Foxy I find a jungle. I mean, it's, if we really want. And go yeah, this is a seed world. Yeah, so I have the the seed information, so I can always do that. Um, worst case. Um. Right, do you want me to harvest down here while you harvest up there before we go to Mordor's? Sure, if you want to. I just, you know, I wanted a, a fair amount of wheat because, you know, you have to chuck a lot of them at the... Oh, did you find Frosty? Dang it. I mean, we can, we can name it 
something other than Frosty, you know? If you... Well, we should probably bring some name tags. It's time to start naming some of these people. I mean, these are our people. We are responsible for their safety. Are we, like, doing the opposite of how Dr. Who feels? You know, we're, we're massively integrating ourselves into the, the timeline. We, we sit high in a tower overlooking their village. Yeah, we're responsible. So you just named yourself the Grand Hive. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that on stream. Would've been a good reference, though. I don't know, I just thought might as well go through, get the wheat. Some fresh wheat to really promote discussion. No, no, no. Let's let's be honest. I already identified this from the get go on this stream that this is a not safe for work stream. Sure. We need to get these villagers busy. That makes because I also want a fisherman. Oh, there was you guys. You guys built a composter up there, didn't you? I'm like going down to the fishing hut to grab it. Uh, that's right. That's yes, cool. although I'm not sure if I told friend Elvis that I moved his composter just slightly. Composter. It's just built into the wall, so it's more seamless. That way Belmont could learn um, the uh, mechanics of why this works, which is really just gravity. Also that um, seeds can't defy gravity. So that's what, our second musicals reference? Well, so the problem, because going across town is what, like a 25 minute drive? So like, I was going through my playlist at that point. So of course I had a lot of musicals. Like, oh, this is, this is what I was telling you. This is the content they come here for, you know? What, our loyal fan? They, they, they get stuck here because they get blinded by my pale arms in the summer, and then um, they stay because they're healing musicals and they're thinking that we're talented. And I'm not throwing away that shot. I should like start fighting you, I'm not kidding. Probably right. came up with like three more in my head, and I'm like, nope, don't do it. I will meet you at the Triad uh, Gamers branch office in Mordor's. Oh, is that what we're calling it? The branch office now? Yes, it's a branch office. Sorry, I had to fix it. Suddenly there was like two of them that, you know, weren't tilled, so I don't know what happened there, but. Um, I might have had a small oops. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep finding small oops all day, aren't I? Maybe. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I'm here to fix them, then. <laughs> I've been pretty busy on the server, actually. Yeah, I have uh, over two stacks of wheat, so that should be enough to... ...keep villagers. Um, and then if you need more, I have an almost full barrel of wheat... ...at... Uh, ...the branch office. Fair enough. Oh, I need to collect some honey. It looks like there's some honey here. Oh, there's no glass there. Never mind. Uh, did you check the test chest? Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing available in the chest right now. Oh, yeah, right. yeah there is. Nothing Never mind. Never mind. It was in between them, so I just wasn't paying attention. There we go. So uh, another thing I neglected to tell friend Elvis was um, I ended up uh, creating a uh, shepherd in uh, the village, so I might have pilfered some of his wool. But I have been slowly trying to put it back. That's fair. Do we want pink tulips at all? Or red sand? Not that I'm aware of that we need those things. Fair but enough. The wandering traders are around, so I thought I might as well check oh, their, fair enough. their stock. And I mean, maybe... They could have cocoa beans at some point, which hits almost everything that we want from there. Holy crap, there's been a lot of work done over here. What is well, that? yeah, I added some uh, apartments. This is definitely has monsters. Uh, okay. Does it? Yup. There's well, there's a creeper in here, and I missed. Oh, that's why there's also an iron door. Fair. I just more like uh, there's. A um, door. here. Because there's a digging down in here. In uh, yeah, I needed some stuff while building houses. Fair enough. That's. 
about where it looked like it spawned, so I lit it up. <laughs> there we go. Fixed it. And then... I always can use more gunpowder. Shoot. What? That's what it's called. Um, I'm lagging because I turned on the, the HUD. Oh, okay. Four, but the thing is, it followed me from computer to computer. Yeah, there we go into bed. Well, that's why you can just you know turn it on or off, you know. So. So Elvis, I've noticed that you've started uh, gathering supplies. Do are you going to build Brennan in a Brennan in a house, or am I? Or we could just wait until he actually goes indoors and slap an iron door on whatever house he goes into. Sure. The only thing that's a little rough with that is um, his lectern is outside. So he won't reset without getting access to that lectern. So you might have to bring it to him. It has to be that specific one? I don't think so. I think you just have to have a lectern in there. I don't think it has to be specific, but he needs to have access to a lectern, basically. Otherwise, he will not. He will re. He will not reset if he gets all. Um... Well, I mean, I've got one spare lectern in the uh, branch office for sure. Fair enough. Yeah. So anything you need to trade that we have mm -hmm. is in here. Fair enough. Hey, farmers, away from this area. This is not safe for villagers. Ah, get out of my face. So, yeah. I figured that that would be the next part of the stream was uh, doing some... Oh, we have fishermen. Cool. We do? Well, there's a fisherman right here. I didn't put down a barrel. No, he's accessing the barrel through the wall. Because he just All right, so... here. I mean, it's a really good trade. I mean, what was it, 10 coal for an emerald? Yeah, let's lock... I'm going to lock him in. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, I was just throwing weed at one that wasn't, and I'm like, wait, when did you turn into a fisherman? I don't remember that. All right, so you might want to put a barrel on the outside that just doesn't store anything. Uh, yeah, I have a... Uh... Ooh, Riptide 3 on Brendan isn't terrible. I mean, it's a terrible price, but, I mean... Honestly, I guess you'd exploit the one emerald per lantern. Wait, what? Yeah, a couple of them have that trade I've seen. But Brendan, for sure. Oh, that's new to me. I haven't I haven't tried to buy from Brendan, Brendan in a while. That's fair. Um... Hold on, let me put away these carrots. Do, do you two want to make some babies? No? Okay. What about you? We're looking for a barrel, you said, right? Yeah. No? No babies? Well, do we need to build more doors? No pun intended? Possibly. I'm just trying it out with people around each other to see, maybe. I mean, this gives like a disproportionate amount of iron golems. Build another house, shall we? Isn't that like the town slogan? Yeah. <laughs> it is now. <coughs> so yeah, we're currently sitting on two stacks, two point like five stacks of emeralds in the branch office. 
I did not realize that Brendan was selling lanterns. Hey. Oh, did anybody bring name tags? I did not, but I can go get some. Fair enough. Otherwise, next person to run back to try a tower should just grab them from the fishing hut. Yep, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> While enjoying my nice cookie. Oh, is this one? Oh, one of the Snickerdoodles? Mm -hmm. I made them. I even talked about those on stream. I made them. I'm gonna eat them. I also got my peace tea. Again, hashtag non-spawn. But oh my god. Oh god, if they'd sponsor us, hell, they could just sponsor us in product. Yeah, they could send us just like a 12 pack every month, and I would totally talk about it constantly. I have, I have no shame in that, like, at all. Okay, I've eat name tag. Well, I guess the question is, what should I name? Because I have to do it at the handle. Probably. Like... Well, we should probably name Frosty. Are we are we locking in Frosty? I'm very okay with Frosty. I'm just glad he's alive. Okay, Frosty it is. Can we name the fisherman Willie? <laughs> sure. Okay, so I have Frosty. I have you mean Willie as in Stardew Valley, I presume, right? Yes. Okay, just for spelling, it makes because he's he's ends in Y, right? I'm Not I. Pretty sure. Okay, well, locking it in too late. Okay, what else? Do we, um. Do you want one called Pogifers? We could, yeah. I'm okay with that. Pogafers. It's just one G one F, right? I guess so. You're uh, you're the one basing it after that. I think it's two G's. We're gonna go two G's. Probably wrong, but um, anything else? Not that I can think of at the moment. I just say bring them so we can do it. Like bring you know, the we'll anvil with. No, we'll bring the name tags. We'll build a new anvil. Okay, so I should bring materials for an anvil. Yeah, might as well. Okay, <laughs> I'm like trying to discern. I'm like, there, there's a piece missing here. That I need to make sure. And I need, remember, it's thirty-one. Yep. I need three blocks. I had gotten a bunch of uh, iron when I was on earlier in the week, so this works. Um, would you also mind uh, bringing some cobblestone with you? Like, just a stack. I will head oh, back never mind, I have one on me. Never like, mind. I will head back in. <laughs> never mind. Well, let me pick up some of these jungle saplings and replant them. Jungle? Is that jungle? No, it's dark oak, sorry. Uh, they both look like... similar. I just presumed you got jungle saplings so you were talking about it. You were literally watching the stream of us attempting to get jungle saplings. Oh, it doesn't sound like me. They're all congregating. Oh my. Yeah, that's why I want another bell. Doesn't a bell send them into their homes, I thought? No, I think it can gather them during the day. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I'll, I'll have to double check. I was reading up on it right as you left this morning, so... Okay, Anvil should go... Just dig a hole in the ground. Hole in the ground it is. God, I love that sound. Okay. 
Okay, so let me go and start passing out some name tags. So. <laughs> so, Fisherman, right? Fisherman, yes, you are Willy. Okay. And then, who are you? Oh, you're the Fletcher, gotcha. Still learning all the outfits, what can I say? Um, that's Brendan, so the other one must be Frosty. Yep, you're Frosty. Um, and then I have Apocryphers for one of them. Which I thought should be one of the map makers, possibly. Oh yeah, that makes total sense. Map maker, map maker, make me a map. Mansions are hard to find naturally. Ah! What? I'm getting tossed around like a fucking rag doll. Okay. I and... accidentally hit an iron golem. <gasps> oh no. I mean, I would just say run. I did. Oh, I can see the one you hit. It's all cracked. I presume that's the one you hit. All the other ones seem fine. Oh no, maybe that one. Yeah, that one's more. It seems more cracked than. Oh it. yep, no, they're still mad. Well, yeah, it's gonna take a bit. You can't come back for a bit now. <laughs> it's like when you do the um, zombified piglins. All right, then I will go work on our other project. <laughs> it usually just takes falling in love with a rival clan, but you know, he did it much quicker. <laughs> I'll take the silence as a good joke, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm deciding that if I'm going to get beat up, I want something for it. Are you like actually gonna kill some iron golems? No. Oh, okay. I'm like it would get you like iron. <laughs> but an unfortunate Enderman came across my path. Hi, Brendan. Do you, do you need something? You know what? I really like right here. Elvis, I think I have the site for where your next big project, which I'm not going to mention on stream in case you were going to uh, keep it a secret. Um, but I think I know where that should go. All this conspiring. We like surprising you. What can we say? Conspiring traitors. Oh, we need more paper. Uh, there's tons of sugar cane in the. I'm gonna burn. Um. Oh, because there's a bunch of sugar cane here. That's right. Gotcha. Fair enough. Never mind then. Did I not promise you that I would be prepared? I was just I was taking some stuff to trade because while I'm here might as well let's see if they're still pissed off at me photographers give me emeralds I need to make a compass at some point So I can steal oh. some of these maps and I can see how close we are. Uh, we'll get some beats. Hi, are you still mad at me? And then some of this. Oop, I almost have you leveled up and I don't have enough wheat, so I'll have to come back. Um, there should be wheat. more. Yeah. No, I took some from them. Uh -huh. I just, it's like a couple trades away from going to uh, master level. So I'm like, oh, let's just finish that up. I just need more wheat that I just didn't have on hand. 
Cause what All right, I'm a diamond uh, farmer. Why not? I'm allowed back in the village. Ah, debatable. Excuse me? Excuse me? Yes, I did go and think about what I did, and the big my biggest mistake was I didn't bring a lead to lure the go iron golem out of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the space that I was working. Got a, got another farmer to the master level. So nice. more trading for golden carrots if people want. I'm going to try this again, but I don't think there's any unemployed villagers. I mean, the fisherman was, but then you put, apparently he saw a barrel through a wall, and, you know. Yeah, you're the shepherd. I should probably be trading with you, too. I forgot to grab Um, there's some wool in there. Wool is the one thing I'm not stocked up on. That's fair. Yeah, you can cook at a campfire. Um, you just have to be around it, because it's going to pop out at some point. Um, but it's a good way actually early if you don't have, yeah, I can do the white wool then. Um, it, yeah, Elvis, it's a good way to cook early when, you know, if you're not necessarily tied down to a certain area, it's better than a furnace because it doesn't cost any coal. So it just continually keeps going. Actually, I noticed the butcher has dried kelp blocks now. I probably should be t utilizing that. That's not too hard to make, especially with our lava buckets for stuff. Um, what was I oh yeah, I was grabbing wool for the shepherd. There you are. Come back, shepherd. I have wares if you have coin. Level up. I want to see what you got. Um, you can get an orange bed or a white bed for three emeralds. <laughs> you do realize, like, over there we, ha we, we, we can just make those, right? You, you get that? Do, do, you, do you understand? That? I did. I did actually at the beginning of the stream, um, and Elvis was uh, offline um, the fixing fixing audio, but I did show off the pride beds. The shame! You are overcharging your kinsmen. We'd only charge one emerald. Um. Okay, you're master, so I don't really want to level you up further. You're also master, so I probably don't want to level you up further. Eh, whatever. I don't know. I don't want to go find another farmer. I'll just take the emeralds from you. Um, and then I need the potato and the carrot farmer. You are a potato farmer. And you look for pumpkins, so let's go with that. Get all the leveling up. That's almost a third farmer. That's almost a third farmer that is um, going to be master level, which is nice. Wait, did you get more trades from that? Oh, maybe you did get to master. Never mind. I missed that. I've been trading a lot with them. Well, we have three masters, and here's one that's a gold level, so. Yeah, there's a lot of infrastructure that's set up already around here for farming, so it's it's understandable. Um, I think that's everything though, so cool. Huh? You'll put the stuff back then. Uh, 42 emeralds, you know, fair haul for just a couple stacks of everything. Huh. 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 Let's see. Do 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 do. Cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Random. I was walking by the cats. I mean, it's better than just going, memory, all out. No. I have to set some boundaries within a relationship, <laughs> and that's one of them. Right there. They are definitely all meeting around the well. Well, yeah, they do usually at some point, you know. Have you heard there's a rumor in St. Petersburg? Have you heard? Okay, I'll put the name tags in the emerald chest. Open oh, pumpkins. 
There we go. I stand on the ruins of civilization. Was one that's not ruins, that's a work in progress. There, there's no orange barrels. It's definitely not construction. Come here. No! No! Hey, um, Holy are God. you going back to try a tower? That was the plan, yeah. I mean, I uh, can you grab a from the tools chest a lead or two and bring it back with you? Sure. Once I stop and pick up the honey, because it looks like it's full again. These bees are hard at work, making our farming amazing. At some point, I probably should um, get more flowers for. Elvis, just so he has them for breeding in the future if he needs it. Oh, well, I mean, uh, part of our exploration today, we found some massive flower fields. Fair enough. It was a thought process of like, yeah. We have a bunch of bone meal, might as well use it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Leads must be upstairs. Well, here's a couple leads in the chest down here. Yeah, I mean, well, the, yeah, those are traveling leads. Anything works. It's just I, I want to get the iron golems out of my way, so I don't have. Uh, Fair enough. I'll um, bring them in just a second. So I don't have discipline uh, problems. I just wanted to make a compass, which is why I came back a couple of compasses to get those maps. Oh, I oh, shoot! I had iron and redstone here. You did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, too late. So, building villages with folks. That's today's stream, at least for a little bit. Building a community. I... Yeah. Oh, that's right. Compass is stacked now. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Okay, and then I just need the emeralds over there, and that should be it. Cool. And then I'll bring the, the two leads I have. Geronimo! Have, uh, has there been a decision on what the walls will be? I mean, cobblestone is just so plain. I wasn't thinking about even doing walls, to be honest. Well, then how is it difficult to get into, then? It's a mental difficulty, love. Then how am I able to get in? If you can't roast yourself, how the hell are you going to roast someone else? <sighs> This is what I live with, folks. And yet, you put me on stream. You made that decision. You brought this upon all of them. Here are your leads. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's grab some emeralds. And get this uh, map making on the road. Because yeah, there was one that had one, one of each, and I wanted to make sure to grab those. I believe it was Pogophers. Pogophers! Where are you? Oh, are you Pogophers? You are Pogophers, hello. Ooh, and you have a discount right now. Awesome. So, Ocean Explorer map. And then a Woodland Explorer map. Cool. So let's see what we got. Um, that'll help. We are fairly far away from that, and fairly far away from that. Yep, cool. That's just what I expected, to be fair. I did not expect it to be close to the woodland one. The ocean explorer, I didn't think we were that far away from, because we do have some ocean nearby. But yeah, we got ID 1 and ID 3 for the maps, so. Which again, uh, you got to explain mapping to me at some point. I can definitely do a tutorial for you at any point if you'd like. It is it is an an art that is... I mean, to be fair, it's less complicated than, like, um, 
than redstone mechanics, I feel. Like, once you figure out how it works with chunks and everything, it's just like, oh, that makes sense. Okay, so this is how the map is working. Um, to be fair, less complicated than redstone mechanics is not necessarily <laughs> a selling point, since I am also convinced that brain surgery and rocket science in other languages are less complicated than redstone mechanics. I mean, to take a... Um... To take a, a phrase from a coworker, I mean, it's not like rocket surgery. <laughs> and I mean, I, I don't even need to mention, you probably can know who that is. Um, I have guesses. Your first one's probably correct. And to be fair, I, I have a small team at work, it's not exactly difficult here. Okay. Well, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll go adventuring then for this, while you guys are playing villager. Well, I mean, don't get yourself into a situation that you need backup. Well, no, I'll bring a bed. I know how to dig a dirt hole. Uh, it's more like, don't go into a woodland mansion alone. True. I mean, I don't even know that much about them, but I know that. Well, yeah, actually, to be fair, yeah, it doesn't make sense to go there yet, because um, if we need a dark oak or something, then that would make more sense. But Yes, no, I am not equipped to take on a woodland mansion currently. It was more just to get the maps. Really, what I'd love to get from them is like a buried treasure map or something, but... That'd be nice. Um, I don't know if they do buried treasure maps, or at least like something like that, where it's like, oh, there's runes here or something, you know? Because it's just hard to find when you're sailing around. Okay, let's put that into the sign chest, because why not? Map, 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 map. There's a lot of water buckets up here, I'm noticing. Those are my water buckets for making elevators. Fair. Um, the problem is I would make buckets, then they get somebody would fill them with lava, and I'm like, then I need to make more buckets. So that's why I put them in a totally different chest. You just don't randomly have nine lava buckets on hand? No, but I do randomly have nine water buckets on hand. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Let's put the gunpowder away. Ooh, that's a fair amount of ender pearls. You were pretty successful. Well, I have been uh, targeting them. Well, now you've let them know your secrets, so now... I'm curious, does this work? Oh my gosh, it does. Possibly. Oh, oh shoot! Gosh. I'm doing that. Where did they go? Yep, that's definitely happening. Shh, don't tell about that. You are aware that the stream is immediately to my left, right? Yeah, so there's a little bit of a delay. Oh, honey. Are you still at Triad Tower? I'm close by, why? Yeah, you're close enough. Could you go to the storeroom, grab more oak wood? Sure. I'm just going through it faster than I can grow it. Can do, can do, my dude. See, but Thelma didn't realize it's like, I kind of, you know, prepare mentally for streaming. And I didn't do that today thinking I wasn't streaming. And so you're just going to get unfiltered Nick. So, aka the Nick that I normally live with? Yeah, the director's cut. I just run around shouting Banji all the time. Um, what was I up here for? <laughs> Oakwood, that's right. Oakwood. Um, ooh, I should probably grow some more. Dang it. Yes. Okay, I got five stacks. Is that enough? That'll be enough for now. Okay, then yeah, I'm going to bring some saplings because I'm going to need to grow some for you. Whee! I've got some oak saplings. I've 
down to oak saplings. Cause Belmont said he needed them. We're off to see the villagers. The wonderful villagers of Mordor? Yeah, so it just didn't have the, quite the same ring, so I kind of stopped. Oh, well, you're not in the construction sites, you must be in... I'm near the branch office. Branch office, so we're just going to put it in the emerald chest. Cool. Oh, I also need to make some axes. down this wood. I made pickaxes. We're gonna ignore that. And we're gonna make axes. I'm just... Ooh, ooh! I think some villagers are getting busy! Ooh. Okay. Good thing this is on my view and not yours. I'm gonna make we're just going to make sure I actually make axes this time. There we go. Gonna do the thing that I say I do. Yes, unfiltered. Raw. <laughs> Between you being unfiltered and, um, uh, um, don't, don't go to bed yet, folks. Give me, give me a quick second. I need this to be timed right. Okay. And of course I need to eat something. I have some golden carrots. Well, there's already zombies spawning, I can tell you that. Alright, um... Shoot, go to bed. That's Frosty, by the way. I know, I'm just trying to lock him up. Well, Frosty? Yeah, him too. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, dang it, I couldn't keep him. Because you can only really lock him up at night. Oh, fair enough. Where did that zombie go? He walked past here, I thought. Maybe one of the iron golems killed it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They're usually pretty responsive. Look how the cats are just watching you build. Let me go get some more carrots because you're ready to trade again. So I want to exploit that for sure. I wish you could put leads on villagers. Well, I mean, you could throw them in a boat. Can I move them that way? Yeah, you can push a boat. Not efficient, but you could push it. Push it. Push it real good. Bow, 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 down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Up your potato farmer. Wrong one. Down, down, down. 
some. Oh, life is good. Push it real good. There you are. Take all my carrots. Actually, you are. Holy crap. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Let's see what you get next. Oh, your trades are cheaper now. Nice. You apparently really like me because you leveled up. Nice. Oh, you didn't take all the beats, but that's okay. I still like you. Pam, pam, pam. Those are real good. Hmm. Twenty six flint for an emerald now. Also, for an emerald, they'll convert gravel in into a flint for you. Nice. I also now have an overabundance of arrows because I didn't think I thought it was only one trade instead of two that I needed, but oh well. Push it real good. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, Elvis, so you're not surprised I moved your llama. Let's go see what's going on in this neck of the woods. Nothing. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another couple up there too. I see them now. Bam, bam. Sounds good. Thanks for joining, Elvis. Yeah, no, thanks for your help, Elvis. I really appreciate it. Something needed to make this stream entertaining. I am... I thought you made it entertaining. That's just me. I mean, I was watching it. That's a pretty high approval, you know, of it. Yeah, no, I just, I really enjoy Minecrafting with them. That's fair. What are you working on? Oh, just grabbing wood. Like I said, we were running low on oak wood. There's in it, so. I thought I'd go to deforest a region, you know, as you do. Here, can I point you in a direction? Uh, I mean, sure, if you want to. Well, just kill a couple birds with stones? Fair enough. What's up? Um, where are you? You're in a cave. Why? In a in a cave. In a cave, yeah. Why? Oh, then never mind. I won't point you. I can't point you because I don't know what cave you're in. Well, which direction from? Um... Go north of Mordor's. North of Mordor's. And just like pretty much, if you encounter a tree, take it down. Yeah, that's where I was. <laughs> okay. There's a yeah. cave with coal in it, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna grab it. Yeah. Basically, there's like a big pond in the middle up there, like in a big clearing. Yeah. Yeah. Take down any tree around there. Oh, hi, Dar. Do not dodge. Jeez. Die already.
Here, I just found a place with some resources, so I thought I'd grab them. Yep. Because I thought we had gotten everything, so I was like, uh, what? Sorry, I think this farmer is getting really upset with me using his composting bin. Why are you using his composting bin? To clear out my inventory of all the seeds I had. Oh. You know, kind of why you use the compost bin? Well, it's just more like, like, why do you have seeds in the village? That's weird. Um, they were left over from doing the last minute, uh... Oh, fair enough. You know, I just passively grabbed, you know, like three stacks of coal. As you do. As one does. Really, get out of the way. Um, I should go to the branch office and go to bed. That's probably a good idea. So I am definitely not near a bed. Uh, actually, I'm going to let you continue with what you're doing. Okay. Because um, basically this clearing to the north of um, Mordor's is going to be great for Elvis's next project. Oh, okay. Which is rather large in scope. Fair enough. And I'm not sure if he understands what the scope creep on that's going to be like. Yeah, but I mean, he's got some time, so. Yeah, I'm true. I'm question it. But um, that's why the tree removal, and also if we're going to be building more houses for villagers. Uh, what? What's wrong? How is that happening? What ha is happening, love? There's water floating. That can happen. It's not common, <laughs> but I've seen it twice now on this seed. Like... What is this world? Okay, you chose it. Actually, the, the, the D10 chose it, which, based on our uh, RPG gaming, you know that those D10s are not in my best self-interest. Yes, very true. I didn't want to turn down coal, though, every time I see a cave, because, you know, every little bit of coal means that my durability is almost back to full on my on picky. Oh, true. Which is true. I only have about 60 down now. And since we haven't really went into caves over here before, I thought, eh, take a little detour. 
Yeah, true. I mean, we still have so much exploring to do. Exactly. Ow! What happened? I have no idea. Okay. It's like I got hit by a golem, but I didn't see one, or... Hmm. I don't know. That 20 to go, and it'll be full dirt ability. In the world. Well, it will please you to know that minus a roof, um, Brendan and Frosty have a house. Fair enough. They happen to walk. I had gotten Brendan trapped. Well, excuse me, confined for his own safety. Mm -hmm. Um. Which is actually literally it. Uh, and then uh, right as I was trying to expand his uh, new residence, uh, Frosty walked right in. Fair enough. And they each have a lectern. I almost could just name that tune with what comes out of my head. True. That is always a thing. <laughs> you know what? That'll work out just perfect. Awesome. No, um I need I, I need to make two beds and so I'll actually trade with the uh shepherd to get them just to give him a little gouging. bit boost. What? You're supporting his price gouging? For three emeralds for a bed? Yeah. But they're orange. Yes, we we can make orange dye. That's not a problem. Actually, how do you make orange dye? Uh, so you take red dye, and you take yellow dye, and you combine it, and it makes orange dye. Did, I mean, did you expect something more complex than that? Or? Uh, I don't know, slightly. Yeah, no, it's it's just that. That's actually how you get a, a fair amount of the the colors. Um, you just combine stuff together. So, like, if I remember correctly, like, I think teal is green plus light blue. I could be wrong on that. It might just be blue. Um.
yeah, all all the colors can be found by some all the non just standard colors, and even some of those can be done that way, but um can be found through just mixing some colors up. They sigh. They sigh. No, it's just that we just gone really quiet there. Oh well, yeah, just you know we're focused. Yeah. Resource building. I'm gonna let Elvis go nuts with uh, city beautification. Fair enough. Ah, oh, he does a good job of it. Also fair. I. Now, didn't we have a couple other caverns to explore, or did you want to go try and find that woodland mansion? I don't think I'm equipped for that. I need diamond armor for sure. Um, but, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, we don't want to go for the ocean monument, because that's... You no, we're really not equipped for that. that. Just because of the thorns on the guardians. Honestly, actually, with that, what we need is uh, blaze rods. We need to get. Uh, we could we could go adventuring in the Nether. That's for sure. Yeah, we ha we have aqua affinity and respiration on stuff, so like, it is not as bad to do, but it's still something that you you want to generally have. And depth strider, but you you generally still want to have the potion of water breathing, because otherwise you can't. You kind of have to do it from the top and break into it, and it just you get fatigue from the guardians. That just takes forever. Uh, milk will get rid of it. Yes, but you don't want to constantly be drink drinking milk while swimming around. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to do it without potions of water breathing. Do you remember that one base that I uh, built um, underwater to the point where I actually brought cows down? Yeah. Come back and drop some materials. Yeah, because I've gotten over two stacks of the wood, so. Run out of the room. I'm going to bed. Cool. Just because I don't want anything to happen to our librarians. I mean, uh, just only drop off stuff for the barrels, son. Well, yeah, there's coal. Okay. I, I thought that's what we wanted in here. It is. I'm just trying to make sure we stay organized. Yes. That's only supposed to be for villager trading. Yes, that, that's why I dropped off the coal. Now, I know that two villagers got busy. Fair enough. So... Or did that unemployed villager already become employed? It is possible. Unlikely, but possible. Uh, 
Okay, actually, let me grab that coal again, because, like, nobody's trade with Willie yet, and Willie seems like he wants to trade based on the way he's talking to me. Okay, well, Willie, what you got for me? 15 raw cod for an emerald? That's not bad at all. Huh? And then 2 emerald for a, a campfire. Huh? Is that a tip in? No, the raw cod is good. Because then the fishing now has much more of a purpose rather than just food and experience. But why did I stop trading with him? I still had more coal for him. Huh? I just need to put a roof over the librarian's head. That's fair. I might actually go grab some raw cod then. Might as well. Just to get that chest going. There should still be one like unassigned barrel. And I, I, get, I contribute some more oak logs for your project. So. Thank you. Yeah, there is one, there's two barrels still open, so I'm not worried. I'm actually probably going to put it next to the beetroot, because that's where the, the meat is, so. Fair enough. Yeah, I was going to invite whichever one of us wanted to, uh, like, you know, move what's in what barrel. Yeah. I didn't really, my, my system was quick. That was the system. That's fair. Honey, honey, how he thrills me. Ah, uh -huh. honey, honey. Honey, honey, nearly kills me. Ah, uh -huh. honey, honey. Here's some stacks. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Oh yeah, I got a good thunderstorm earlier this morning. Fair, nice. <sighs> oh no. No, don't start that. Oh, it's cleaning up my PC. That's obviously the problem. <sighs> I'm sorry, I was up earlier on a Sunday than I usually am today. No, yeah, you were up early. So was I. I had to go, you know, listen to numbers and copy them onto a piece of paper. Which is a good reminder for all of you out there. If you're in Wisconsin, there is an election coming up this week. If you're not, there still may be an election coming up this week or pretty soon. Um, if that's still not the case in all of that, make sure you register for November. If you're in the U.S., obviously. I mean, there's... I just expect most people watching us are in the U.S. Just, yeah. You know. I mean, our fan is from the U.S. I I, I feel like um, we aren't really a international talent level. Is how I'm gonna. Honey, say. if we're gonna judge where our like geographic radius of uh, viewership based on talent level. I think we maybe cover the house. I like to think we at least have, like... The subdivision? Like, I feel like we could take ownership over, like, the nearby town. <laughs> maybe not any part of actual Madison, but, like, the nearby suburbs, maybe. Listening to the librarian's uh, turn pages on the lectern is weird. It's weird? What do you mean? 
the sound is just weird. Oh, fair enough. Then I also need to bring some flint, so let me grab that. That can be the other thing I do here quick. Oh, a uh, new addition to the flint chest. The shovel, I presume you talk about? Yes, I just gotta put mending on it, but... Well, I can come. I can bring a book and I can grab that then. So next I also have books here, so... Whee! I think we've all gotten into the habit of doing that whenever... I know, I can tell you Elvis has. I've seen him do it, which is why I was like, oh yeah, why am I not doing that? See, I do that with the railroads. Makes sense. Hey, Nick. Yes. I think the fan is catching your mic just a bit. Oh, you shifted it. I just even I didn't even realize you had moved the fan till now. Yeah, I was kind of roasting. Now you know how it is up here. All the time. True. No, that's fair. I can uh, I can bring it down a little bit. Is that better? Oh yeah, much. Yeah, Cause, well, because point up in my face, so that's gonna do that, you know. There. A nice simple house for the librarians. Yeah, they're just, you know, friend librarians, nothing more. Hey, first of all, we should be the last person to judge anybody's rom different romantic lifestyle. Well, no, that's, that's what I was making the joke about. Just, I'm sure they're just, you know, librarians. And all I'm going to say is, you know, Brendan is generally a male-presenting name, and Frosty the Snowman, I believe, was... You know, of the male gender. Just all I'm saying. Got that. I forgot how with Fortune 3 you still... Oh, it's Fortune 2 only. That's actually probably why. <laughs> yeah, no, it's only Fortune 2. I didn't feel like trying again... When I actually scored something worthwhile. That's fair. Oh, I got 12 flint, so, you know. I guess that's something. But yeah, I can make sure to grab a book here on the way. Uh, again, I have several on me here already. Oh, fair enough. Well, then I'll make sure to go there and get um, a... Menden book from Brendan. Which did you explain that that whole thing? Why, why no, I it? mean, I I thought we did that on on a previous stream, but I mean, I didn't talk about it today. Well, for those that are just you know now getting into us, um, Brendan's Menden. That, that's why he's Brendan. He'd be Menden. Yeah, folks, I I I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> they love it. That's why they're here. I always say they come from Minecraft and stay for the mishaps and hijinks. I also noticed we had three glass bottles that were in the fishing area, so I brought it over to the honey area. Because I don't really think we're doing potion brewing anytime soon, so I'm just like, eh. No, I mean, unless you want to do that later on the stream. I don't know if I'm up for uh, another thing today. Well, I mean... I, I feel like... What's great for stream is if we find another fortress to go through it, not go find one. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to be honest, it's uh, not looking great on that front from our current portal. Fair enough. Rock hard. There we go. Oh, Willie. Hey, Willie. Oh, Willie, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind, Willie. Hey, Willie. Oh, Willie, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind, hey, Willie. Hey, Willie. Be right back. Oh, okay. Just gotta run and grab something from somewhere. Very good, I'm just trying to find Willie. That's all. I think he's down here, but don't quote me on that. Oh, really? You're so fine. You're so fine. You're blah, 
I'm still learning all the... He's the one with, like, a pouch on his side. Some netting. I am just trying to hunt up something real quick. Oh, did you need that book? I don't yet. All right. I know where the, the librarians are, so it's not as hard. Yeah, I just, all the stack of books happens to be on me at the moment. Is there a, like, I guess that's, oh yeah, because we did an iron door, so just go in and leave the same way. Yeah, I mean, it was the most secure thing. I think that's the Fletcher, right? Yeah, you're the Fletcher. Oh, I need there we go. He was around here last time I was here. That's why I thought he might be here again. I don't... I, I really wish you could put leads on villagers. Oh, there you are. You have a fish. Okay, let's, let's do some trading. Ooh, I've already leveled you up. That was nice. Alright, I'm going to drop the books off in the um, branch office. Uh, 12 raw salmon for an emerald. The fishing rod trade is pretty bad, though. <laughs> Six emeralds for an unbreaking one fishing rod. Ooh. But we now also need salmon over here, apparently. Ooh, I leveled up again. We just have so much raw cod, you know? Um, five tropical fish to an emerald. Interesting. Actually, considering... There's no that does not suck. Idea. There you go. Wow, 16 emeralds for you. Thank you so much, Willie, for just randomly appearing that one day. Yeah, I'll have to bring some... For reaching through a solid effing wall, yep. and, uh... I might just combine the fish into the same chest. I don't think we need separate chests. Agreed. So, when I go get salmon here in a bit. Okay, and then I need some more emeralds. And then a book. Uh, in with the leather. The leather? Okay. Yep, there it is. I can get Menden. Oh, hey, Brandon. Actually, why don't I get a few? Why am I just doing this? We have so many emeralds now. We're going to need a lot more mending anyway, so. Oh, let's do three trades. That'll be good for right now. Just you can't do it all at once. You might as well do some of them at a time when you're doing it anyway. Because honestly, we do have to level him up at some point. Because he only has Agreed. two book trades, which means there's a third one. Hello. You're Frost, you're Brendan. Hi, Brendan. Um, I would like the mending. And the mending. And a little bit more of the mending. Oh wow, you're gonna take a long time to level up if that's all you did. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay. Yep, so I got three mending books. Yeah, as, as, nice. As you do. Now, as one does. I think I might actually head back for a little bit because I am almost a 30. And before I put the mending book onto the shovel, I'm going to want to hit 30 and then use it for an enchantment. That's fair. So I'm going to go fishing for a little because then I can also grab the salmon from the, the chest when I do that. I don't think there's as much of the salmon, if I remember correctly. We've just been hungrier for salmon. Well, they also don't come out as often. I mean... Yeah. Sorry, I was also trying to think of a, a joke, but I couldn't come up with it. Right now, I'm trying to clear out this forest that Elvis and I accidentally grew. I grab five tropical fish. Well, let's grab six, because I know it's technically what the trade is, but he was discounted for the time being. But I mean, are you going to go fishing at the fishing hut? Yeah. For levels? All right. 
Then what I'm going to do, if you don't mind, okay. is that I am going to put myself in one of the apartments here in Mordor's. Fair enough. Um, and I'm going to step out momentarily, uh, which just means you're responsible for Betty Bye. That's fair. And you have to do it because I'm in the village. <laughs> That's also fair. All right. I'll be right back, love. Love you. Love you. Okay, well, yeah, let's just keep going on this here. Jeez, I really need to do fishing more often, because, like, I do a lot of fishing for levels. Like, it's just a really easy way to do it. I, mean, I should do mob farms at some point, but it's always kind of the, like, yeah, I'll do a mob farm, and I just, like, forget. Or it's, like, you have to go looking for the spawners and things, and it's just, it, it takes time. So I, I do a lot of fishing, so honestly, really, I should do more fishermen, especially if it's just a barrel to trigger them, because that is so easy to make early. Like, you can just start profiting off of that enormously, and they level up quickly, obviously, because I only did a couple stacks of raw cod, and it went up two levels, so... Might as well try the salmon and the tropical fish and see what we're getting, you know? But, yeah, I really need... I haven't done much with the villagers, even though I know it's been a couple releases since they really came out. Um, it's not something that's new, per se. I think it was 1.14 they did the big changes, because, yeah, 1.15 was, like, bees and stuff. I think bees was separate from the villager updates. Um, and then obviously 1.16, the last one was another nether. Um, but honestly, I did a, I kind of indulged a ton after 1.13, because I believe that was the color update and the ocean update. Or one of the two. No, that was, I think 13 was ocean update, 12 was color update or something. So like I was playing a ton during that, and then I just kind of like fell off after that. Which I really wish I didn't, because then I'm behind on all these villager stuff and exactly what to do. Um, haven't done a villager farm then as a result either, because that really was a, more of a big thing once they did the villager improvements. Um, and you can kind of be more assuredly, you know, looking for a certain one rather than just guessing which profession they'll get, hoping for the best. Um. Uh, but yeah, see, so yeah, I'm just, I'm so close right now to level 30, it just, it may, the reason why I say it is, just in case you're not big on the enchanting on it, is that 30 is the highest, is, is the level for the highest enchantment. Would, would you, like, go away? Thank you. Um, it's the level for the highest enchantment, and so it makes sense to do that because each of those is always going to cost three, three levels. Um from there just that's that's how it works and so if, if if i were to go ahead and do the mending book um onto the shovel that's going to go ahead and take away my levels at the time from wherever i am it'll take longer to get back to 30 so it's just better to hit 30 go down to 27 and then do any of your anvil stuff because then you work your way back up um because the higher up you are the more, more experience costs and that's the problem um, so, for instance, for me to go from 29 to 30, it's taking a lot more than it would, for instance, for me to go, like, 5 to 6. Um, so generally, you want to hit that level 30, as and pretty close to hitting level 30, go get the enchantment. Um, I mean, you can obviously get 31, 32, and then, uh, do your enchantments that bring you down under 30, and then do anything at that point. Um, because it's just with every level of experience, it's harder and harder to get to the next one, or it takes longer, like more experience to do it. So that's why that sweet spot is hitting the point and then jumping back again. So it, going from 27 to 30 is less than having than going 30 to 33, um, which would get you another enchantment's worth. And if you're somewhere that you're not near an enchanting table or kind of doing something where you, you don't want to leave it kind of thing, you can obviously keep leveling up. It's not like it'll stop you, but it's just, Efficiency's sake, especially for us when we're trying to get full diamond gear together and get enchantments on it, is that we really need to be hitting those points of, okay, it's, you know, now we got this, so now let's go ahead and make sure and enchant something. Because um, it's just, especially if we start putting on book enchantments, um, it's going to take more and more levels than just the three. Um, so we want to get those base ones on there so we can figure out how much experience it's going to cost us to finish that full set. Especially to put mending in all of them, because that's going to be important for... That's why we're saving up the emeralds, just so we can get mending on all of our gear. Because um, then you just come fishing here like this, and you just... 
level back up. Like, for instance, actually, I should be leveling up Picky. Or not leveling up Picky, getting durability back on Picky because that just makes more sense. Okay, oh, but it's bedtime now. So, bedtime it is. Um, but it's just getting mending on it just makes sense. Like, there's always that debate between whether you put mending, uh, for instance, on a bow, you always put mending or affinity. Now, especially with the villager updates, but also just in general, it's usually not too bad to really make arrows. Um, you know, obviously finding a skeleton spawner is your best bet because you're just going to get a ton of arrows from that experience farm. Um, but at the same time, like like we saw, just finding a villager who will do it, you know, 16 arrows for an emerald is really good um, trading because you're usually going to have, you know, 15 beetroot or, you know, 14 cod on hand. It's not like that's a, a huge bar to clear. And to just get arrows that way is just really quick. It's, you know, doesn't it's not resource intensive intensive then because it's just you know using your emeralds that you're already doing oh i made it um so it makes sense to go that route okay we're gonna put that back we're gonna take this full stack um and that should be good i'd be good on a sword but Okay, so let's head on up, and we're going to put mending, or we're going to first check which one we want to do, but we're going to grab the shovel on the way up, because it makes sense. Then we might go ahead and get experience back on it. Okay, so we have some items here, oh, or we don't. Let's see, wait. Do we just need a shovel and a sword? No, we probably need more than that. Oh, no, they've been working. Wow, Thorn is, yeah, Thorn's two. Yeah, that's pretty close to the same. Um, that is the same. And this one has depth started. This one does not, ha and that's actually extra fire protection, so we probably don't need that, but that's still pretty good. Um, so we, we need diamond, yeah, we need diamond pants again. In fact, I'm actually, I'm going to grindstone this because this is not that great. Um, so I think it's better to do that. There we go. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, let's see what we got on this. Fire proc th three, that's not good. I'm breaking three, that's really not good. Sharpness three is not bad. We really don't have anything with sharpness on it. Um, I'm back, by the way. We don't, <laughs> we don't need the book of flames. Yeah, let's try it on the sword. Worst case, we just disenchant it. Um, it's just sharpness three, so I am going to disenchant that. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of yes, and friend Elvis is also back. Ooh, friend Elvis also. Wow. He and I will continue working, um, on more doors until we think of something that we want to do. Okay, we're going to put this up. Oh, I need another three. Oh, no, I don't need la duh, I don't need lapis. That's why I didn't grab it. I just need to put the sword in. Yep, and then there's two enchantment levels for... Uh, do you want to name the sword or anything while I'm already doing it? Or the shovel, excuse me. Nah. I mean... Flint? <laughs> or Clint? That's weird for a shovel, though. I mean... But that's what that shovel's for. It's getting flint. Fair enough. I mean, I'm open to something better. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, Elvis, I'm sorry. No, I don't need anything from Triad Tower. And uh, just to catch you up, um, I was building a house for Brennan, Brendan. And uh, Frosty walked in, so now they're both trapped. Uh, excuse me. Confined for their protection. They are in quarantine. They are in quarantine. For eternity. Um... Like us. Stupid Backstreet Boys tour. 
Uh, yes, I will need no more wood from Triad Tower. Holy crap. We'll go with it. Can only be renamed. Yep, so I got mending on that shovel, and then I probably actually, while I'm here, should do it on. Let's do the helmets. For the for the good armor? Yep. Yeah, it's nine, so that's a good timing to do it. Only three on this one, though, which is funny, because it's literally the same enchantments, but it's a different order. Yep, that does affect things. Oh, enchantments. Oh no, I know what the other the other one I had actually had to enchant to get um Aqua Affinity on it, that's right. And proc four. So that actually makes sense where it was more expensive. But that's all I was like, yep, I just spend down my levels and then I can start working my way back up on it. Uh I am gonna go fishing though to repair the shovel while I'm at it. Oh, uh, fair enough, yeah. I I made a bunch of arrows with it uh yesterday. Yep, makes sense. Just because I was so excited to actually have a shovel with fortune on it, that I'm like, let's get to work. And that's what I did. Makes sense. Well, yeah, because the Fletcher in the village is not um, arrow efficient compared to just making them. Because um, the flint is 26 flint for an emerald, if I remember correctly, whereas one emerald to 16 arrows means that you've spent 22 extra flint to get it. I don't think we need to save wood or feathers, really, so... True, although, I mean, you've seen our chickens. Feathers are not a problem. That's what I was saying. We don't need to save, you know, like, it's not like we're having to save them and be worried about it. Unless we start pending more novels or something. Now, Elvis, we are leaving you in charge of city beautification. Go nuts. You are the mayor of Mordor's. I, I actually thought uh, he was the um, patron. If we go to, like, Renaissance speaking. True. Then I'll, I'll say like patron saint. But I should finish this one house I'm building. Flower power type, yes. Yeah, because it's friend Delvis, you know, patron saint of you know bees, agriculture. <laughs> yes. And society as a whole. Oh yeah, of cats. That's right, cats. Um... I mean, it's good because they they really chose you. It's not the other way around. I mean, you are part of the chosen. Oh. For those wondering if Nick has lost his mind, what he's actually doing is referencing uh. Gaming an game. RPG campaign that uh, Elvis is in with us as well. Yeah, you've been, you know, pushed into the mayor spot as part of the Chosen. You know, slimy eel thing not included. Well, that's right, actually. Never mind, that's not part of the Chosen, but that's... You get my references. Yes, right. but the rest of the world doesn't. <laughs> that makes the mystery even more. Oh, and also to catch you up, Elvis, uh, I've been leveling up the fisherman. Um, now trades uh, raw cod and raw salmon and tropical fish for emeralds. And so it makes sense to kind of uh, be repairing some stuff because I'm also getting emerald fodder. Yes. Yep, it's like it was like fourteen, co fifteen, fourteen, fifteen cod, and it was like twelve salmon. <laughs> it's like, yep, that's we have that. So yeah, um, and then yeah, tropical fish was the latest one when it leveled up, and I was like, oh, that's something you use for nothing else, basically. So no problem there. But one of these days soon, we will get friend Elvis into the Discord. Uh, chat. We just have some audio issues to work out. Okay, I'm working. 
It reminds me, trouble. speaking of chat, but I just, I had forgotten to turn chat back on. Oh. After my little excursion. And you're not really missing anything. I was the last person to talk in chat, and I'm kind of on now. So. It's gonna dance around. I love good fishing rods in this one. <laughs> They just make fishing so easy. We're almost there. About 500 durability to go. About three at a time. <laughs> or maybe more, holy, that, that jumped nine, so. I keep forgetting that there's one singular cottage all the way to the north here. Yeah, we're With the stone cutter. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any villagers go there, though. I mean, there's one that started there, because there's the, um... Which one does it? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, one of them was up there before, so I think there's someone that's attached to it. Just can't remember which one the stone cutter fits with. I think the weaponsmith? Maybe. It's just, it's really cool because this village technically, like, covers multiple biomes. Yeah. <sighs> oh, no. Hmm, where? Knock that off. It's a lazy Sunday Minecraft. Ooh, Piercing 3 Sharpness 3. That's not too bad of a book. No, not at all. In case we ever get into crossbowing. Dual wielding crossbows. Um, pew pew. And then reload. Yes. So I have to go a uh, four hundred. Fair enough. Yeah, the only issue obviously with the um the shovel being the a thing that you put mending on is just that we don't get experience from yeah. gravel, so it's you know but Well, I mean honestly what that is, that's a monster hunter kinda night with that. Getting a few more saddles, though, so, you know, there's that. Um, we are no longer keeping those in the fishing hut, by the way. Well, I know, but I'm just putting them in the chest next to me. I'll clear that out eventually. Because then I can cast the fishing rod, go into the chest, and put it away, and then jump back. There is something about this area. Oh my god, with the mega oaks. Yeah. And you want wood, right? That gives you more wood. I've got more than I can deal with. <laughs> Whoops. 
Welcome to Minecraft After Dark. <laughs> uh, now I kind of want to watch the Cards Against Humanity After Dark. Or Tabletop After Dark for Cards Against Humanity. I can just hear Ayusha Tyler in my head now. Which I have no problem with, that's a wonderful thing, but... Alright, where is the shepherd? Leading the flock. No, but it's like, we don't really have a village full of villagers. We have a village full of iron golems. I mean, that's the question. Is the village actually the iron golems, and the villagers are just there to support them? Or is the village for the villagers and the iron golems are supporting them? Who's the actual population? And I mean, as always, when you talk about different populations, the question is, which one are the Oods? In this case, I think actually probably yeah, the Iron Golems would be considered the Oods. But, well, maybe the Villagers. You can make a case for either, really. Very true. And if you don't know what we're talking about, go watch Doctor Who. Just do it. Modern Who, start there, just otherwise you're going to get confused. Like, don't discount classic, but don't start there. That's a lot of content. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, that, that, you know, start the modern where it's like, oh, that, that, just for readily, for availability, too. Just. You also can then figure out which flavor of doctor you like, so then when you look for the classic, you can figure out which doctors you're probably going to be more drawn to. Goodness gracious, how many trees did I plant? Oh, I planted some of those on the north side, to be fair. Oh, okay. That's because that's why I'm cutting uh, down right now, are the trees on the north side. Of them, and I cut down oh, like goodness five gracious. Six, so. Oh, yeah, you said to go north side, so I went to the north side with it. It looked like the south side was taken. Speaking of which, at some point, Elvis, uh, next time you have a break from uh, what you're doing, I want to show you where I'm thinking for your next big project. Thank God I have this great axe. Actually, now I think of it, you know, if we ever wanted a break from Minecraft, we'd probably do Lazy uh, Sunday afternoon uh, Stardew Valley. True! That has the same kind of feel. <laughs> sure! Maybe I can actually get some fish ponds going from the newer update before 1.5 comes out. <laughs> Any, I forgot, any word as to when that's supposed to be? Uh, there's no word on 1.5 yet. Just that it is a fair update. Like, it is a larger update. It's not just a small th thing. Uh, like, Matt, I mean, I'm... considered a... small, I'll put it that way. I'm a couple updates behind. Alright, I have to run back to try a tower. I mean, you're only behind on 1.4. I know you've Yeah, but they added stuff. a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I know, I just like... Yeah, and that was considered the small update. Um... Uh... <laughs> Compared to, you know, 1.3 of multiplayer. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they added a whole nother building, if I recall. Uh, a few things. Like, there's a couple items I'm still finding um, while playing on uh, online every week. 
Like what? There was one item that was just like I, I can't remember. I need to go back and and, and talk to to Sarah. But um, basically, I was talking. Just like, oh, this this would have been awesome to know we had. And it was just like, I, I want to say it was something either from Robin or something. That I was just like, I did not know that existed, and that's cool. Oh, I know what it was. It was um, uh, you now there's a machinery you can get for pretty cheap from Robin. I think it was just like a thousand gold or something, um, which turns hardwood into regular wood. Ah, uh, which late game is amazing. Yeah, because very true. You get so much more hardwood than regular wood because you've chopped down so much already. Uh, and I mean, it's it's giving you like seven to nine pieces of wood for each hardwood. Like it's it's a fair amount. But it's just nice to then have that next to like your uh, charcoal kiln if you need coal. And so it's just basically turning the wood right into coal. So, but yeah, I I saw that there. I was like, why have I not gotten this? Cause well, cause um. Sarah would always go to the the woods area, and so we had a ton of hardwood, but we were you know building buildings and we needed more regular wood, so. Fair enough. Okay, where am I now on this? Ah, two hundred away. I can do this. Boss almost went up two levels since starting. Uh, do you want me to go monster hunting with it? No, you're good. This is. I think this is better. Well, then back to Mordor as I go. Yep. That's fine. I mean, I'm half expecting that eventually Elvis will uh, add a uh, bee factory in Mordor's as well. I mean, it's really better near crops, so... And, and flowers. So, I mean... In terms possible. Of, in terms very, of efficient... very possible. And now I just have the song stuck in my head. Which one? Because that technically was a, a verbal reference from a musical, not a musical reference from a musical. Well, I have a musical reference in my head that's slightly different, which you should know. Alright, here. Friend Elvis. Follow me. Another Nautilus shell. Nice. Honestly, that's one way that we can take on the ocean monument is if we actually wanted to plant, like, get a conduit and then, like, go grab some prismarine from the monument, bring it back, encase the conduit, and then get breathing around it. That would be one way to do it. Yeah. I just, that's why I was hoping to find some more ruins or, you know, because then you can get some prismarine without having to deal with a monument, but I just hadn't seen any. So all of this, nice, mostly flat, would be perfect for what you're thinking. And if you need help terraforming, I will be more than glad to do so. But, and then we can just build a road straight from Mordor's. It could be built for the people of Mordor's. I heard aspect too, nice. Yep. Not a problem. This is this is just like my preferred site. Yeah. Cause I think with what you're thinking might be too big to be near Triad Tower. Ooh, I just saw Besides, that. it feels more special if you have to journey for it. Just a little. I can also build a railroad. I guess at some point. We would extend the railroad to like an ocean area. It's like a docking off point. Yeah, no. We'll build that network. I just got to get the resources. And I mean, you know, other projects do pop up. Yeah, I know. It's, it was just kind of like, yeah, that's probably something eventually we're going to do just so we can keep exploring. Find that jungle. Climb every mountain. So let me, so, oh fuck. I'm running. To find your dream. Hmm, interesting. What? I think the iron golems don't consider this little patch over here village. Okay. Well, I have to go think about what I've done. 
did you hit an iron golem again? Yes, I was trying to terraform and he got in the way. I mean, if you have aggression, I can, like, we can go to monster hunting, you can get it out. Just so many of them. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that they're so damn cute, Iron Factory, here we come. I presume we do an Iron Factory in a village we didn't care about. True. Because then there's no protection if you do an Iron Factory. Yeah, so Mordor's would probably not be the best place for it. Almost there. Come on. But yeah, no, um, a little while ago off stream, I did, uh, did a lot, a good, thorough, terrifying exploring of, um, another few cardinal directions around our uh, base in the nether. Well, the laughing... The thing that I would laughingly call a base until Elvis got a hold of it. Elvis made a lot more extra room and security. I mean, he's definitely expanded it. It, it, it could definitely... There's some creature comforts that we could definitely add, but uh, still... It was a huge improvement compared to like the pretty much the little hidey hole that I had made. Yeah, nether farming is a whole different ball of wax. Can you nether farm? I mean, you can have water there, so how does that work? Well, I mean, there are certain things that you can farm. Like, especially those mushrooms and... Uh... Oh, fair enough, that's fair. Sorry, I'm like, I, can't do I think that, I mean, there's other plants in all these new 1.16 biomes. Oh yeah, those are just trees, just like anything else. So, like, the, the shrooms that you're talking about become those, like, trees that you see. Ah, fair enough. So you don't, you can't necessarily make more of those mushrooms, I believe. I think they just become those, like, trees, but they're, you know, like, brush, like, you know, trees here might drop something like that. Um... It's not called wood, it's called something else, which is like... Um... Well, that's cool for some colorful stuff now, though, because you have some red and blue tint now in the wood. Um... Oh, yeah. I mean... I, although, you know what, I haven't seen a lot of people yet, like, building with it, but then again, I guess I haven't been looking. Yeah, I think it's still pretty new. People haven't really kind of made put much out for it yet. Well, I mean, there are also better Minecraft people that uh, get to stuff a lot quicker. Yeah. I also haven't been on Reddit much to look at stuff recently. Probably also part of it. I guess I'm really waiting for our fishermen to start trading in string. Do fishermen do that? Some do, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Well, I'm trying to get some resources for that at this point. Well, I shouldn't say I'm trying to get resources. I'm getting resources for it through what I'm doing. Um, well, it's also not like my monster hunting hasn't given a huge amount of uh, 
string. Leave one of each so you can easily still throw the fish in there, but take the rest. Um, I'm heading up, I might as well steal some of these books and put them up there. True. Sure. That should be good. Oh, I'll take the glassware, duh. There's a bee in a boat. Yeah. One of Elvis's bees got into a boat. Go for it. Just be careful. Don't don't become like baby Jessica. Too soon? Can you really say too soon on a baby Jessica reference? That's why I said it with the question inflection. <laughs> like, what is that at this point? Almost 20 years ago? Wasn't it early Probably more than that, I think. Early 90s? I think so. Yeah, so almost 20 years. Okay, well, that got me some levels and things. Let's go. Well, let's just. Geronimo! Did you just jump off of Triad Tower? No, I jumped yeah. within Triad Tower. Yeah, I think I need to take out that glass, uh, or glass, uh, grass line, though. Oh, fair. I was thinking about prettying it up with flowers. Makes sense. But... Thank you. Oh yeah, I just was on the way to the village and I was like, yeah, you know what? There's a bed on the way. I'm good. Huh. Hey, that was the llama. I'm like, what is that noise? Huh. Willie. Huh. Wait, are you? No, you're you're the other one. You're not the pug. Oh, Willie. Huh. Hey, Willie. It's a good thing we don't really... Well, I was going to say, no, we kind of actually do have a couple followers in England. But, uh... Yeah. He keeps saying the word Willie. Yeah. Which levels you up, so that's fun. Oh, because there's a new trade, that's right. I hadn't done that trade before. Um, and then a boat, an oak boat for an emerald. And three puffer fish. Ooh. That's a good deal. Yeah, so Willie's definitely more of an input rather than an output. <laughs> that makes sense. Goods though, okay. Um, and then I don't know where clownfish. Well, now I gotta go get some puffer fish. Like, jeez. I just went up three levels from that. I found our new vector for <laughs> emeralds. Like, if 
AFK fish farms are still good. I, you know, we could make one of those. They're really not, from what I'm hearing. Yeah, they 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 broke down one of the core mechanics that really helped it. Um. So. They're not so good anymore. Okay, and then Papa Fish. Yeah, like three puffer fish for an emerald, that's an amazing deal. It's also Considering how often we get them, yeah. It's also discounted. It's, it's usually four, but I've just been trading with him so much recently, been leveling up, he discounted the rate. Which I'm like, I will take that. Take that right to the bank with the emeralds. I mean, probably going to end up having almost a half stack of emeralds just from the trades today with him. Well, and again, I still support a decision of not creating an actual villager farm. That's fair. We have free range villagers. Yeah. There you are. I have all the pufferfish you could want, which is apparently only half my stack, which is a little annoying. But I did get to 31 emeralds, which is, you know, about where I thought I would end up. So that's cool. But yeah, so I mean, if you really want to farm oak, what? Because oak boats is just five oak planks, right? Yeah. Yeah, that for an emerald. Oh, and uh, if you check that little chest in the courtyard down below uh, there, uh, we've got oak. We've got oak. oak. There's some in the, uh, whatever you're calling it, too, to be fair. The branch office? Yeah, there's, there, there's some there, too. Well, I'll just start making some boats, then. Yeah, like have at it. I mean, I was only keeping it uh, wood in there to really um, help build new houses. Fair enough. Yeah, let's make four at a time, though, in case he gets shy and doesn't want to trade anymore on that. Doing good so far. So basically five oak wood for four emeralds is the trade off. Yeah. And in theory that might actually eventually go down discount wise. True, yeah, I am doing it now, so you might start liking the fact that I'm doing it. I'm probably not, though, because, I mean, you really can't go lower than one boat. I don't think they go up in terms of what you get from it, so. Wow, you still want more boats? Fair enough. I will load you up, Willie, if that's what you want. Just stick around your barrel and I'll keep trading with you, dude. Oh, your pufferfish trade is back up. I should actually go get those again. Ooh. 43 emeralds from this guy. He is generous today. bring some raw cod as well because I'm pretty sure that there was some the raw cod was opened back up too that's the important thing about having access to their type of block it makes a difference oh well, I'm at level 20 now when I was at 14 when I left triad tower not bad not bad at all oh there's a crafting table in town I forgot about that I could just use that don't have to go as far Take more boats, will they? Uh, yeah, 
Yep, 60 emeralds and halfway to level 20. Okay, how do I want to tackle this? Oh, you're finally done with the boat trades. Okay. Well, thanks for a full stack of emeralds. Not gonna complain there. The way we're going, the beacon can be made with emeralds instead of with, or emerald blocks instead of with iron blocks. Yeah, except for that annoying thing of needing the star. Well, yeah. I mean, I meant in the future. Just we're getting enough of them. I also love how just like one of the iron golems have been holding a poppy. I love it when they do that. Oh, I brought that back. Whoops, that was my bad. Anything else that we really want to try and accomplish on stream, or...? I guess we're pretty close to wrapping up at this point. Yeah. Figure maybe another 30 minutes. Give me time to get back. What do you mean, get back? Well, I had to go away and think about what I had done to that poor iron golem. So how far did you go away? Let's try it. Where are you at? Uh, well... The branch office is negative 150, negative 450. I'm... I'm a bit of ways. Oh my gosh. But it does mean that I found another village. A desert... Another desert village, which Elvis and I had found one in a different direction earlier today. Um, I found one of those uh, ocean... Little mini ocean monuments. What are those called? The smaller ones. Oh, the, the runes? Yeah. Ooh. One of those tiny ones? Yeah. Did you grab the prismarine from there? Um, It's supposed to be in the chest, right? Yeah, I thought so. I don't know. Um, Yeah, I didn't see it in the it. chest. Okay. And it was not really safe to um stay. <laughs> okay. I and mean, where was it? Did you say you saw it? I can go after it. I have coordinates for a later time. Oh, okay. Because uh, we will want to go in force. Why is it so dangerous? Well, I think the last time I counted is that uh, at one point there were 14 tridents stuck in the sand next to it. <sighs> wow. So, yeah, it is well guarded. That's fair. I mean, well, yeah, because they they spawn at greater rates around those, so. Just in general, let alone a trident one. Well, the thing is, I think there's two in a very short area. Oh, that would definitely do it then. There's two of them. So yeah, it's at about negative 311, negative 2500, give or take. Fair enough, yeah, you went a little crazy. I just kind of went north. Yes, but last time I did that, you said, no, we gotta end stream. Well, yes, because nobody's looking at my screen, love. I feel like your tone is very pointed right now. Oh, fuck yeah, it's pointed. Gotta put a quarter in the square jar. And then I found a shipwreck that didn't have a treasure map. Yep. Well, it usually has two chests. One will have it, one won't, but they don't always spawn the whole thing, which is why you don't always... Yeah, I don't think the other... Ooh. I mean, it depends. Do you want it fully source-blocked, or do you want it... 
Yeah, like, do you want it calm or do you want flowing in a specific way? Um, All right. The best thing is to do water buckets across the top, like water source across the top, and then put kelp at the bottom and grow it, because the kelp will create water source blocks. It will? Yes, which I keep telling you about the elevators, and you keep saying, no, it's fine, I have it. <laughs> and I'm like, fine. But yes, you can grow kelp, or even just place kelp. You don't even have to grow it, because you can place kelp on top of itself, like like with, um, uh, what is it, those uh, scaffolding. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I looked at it, and there's like, there's a face of a creeper, and a face of an enderman. Holy Jesus, I'm not going in there. Where's there? Okay, so... Um, well, you're too far away, aren't you? I know, but I'm curious. Um, a bit west of Mordor. Ah, uh, fair enough. There's just some caverns that I'm going into. Oh, I also found a desert temple that I do not have the inventory room to plunder it. Oh, is that the one maybe I found before, though? Straight north? I don't know if it's straight north. I don't remember. Remember I had the, went in that whole way for a bit? Um, yeah, it might it might be. So I mean, you can check it out quick just to see if it's pulled apart. I mean, that's the easiest way to check. Cause you'll be able to see that. Yeah, it's daytime. If not. Yeah, then... and it, and it's got torches and yeah, you yeah, this is the one you found. That would be mine. This is quite the cave system. Holy jeez. Well, Elvis is around if you need backup, as am I. I don't need backup, it's more just I'm not going to bed anytime soon. <laughs> I am looting. Do we have kelp? I thought we had six kelp in the kelp chest up there, and that's it. So we might have to Oh, shoot! Them. Oh, well, my, my big thing is, like, I was just in a place to actually, like, get some. Yeah, there's kelp around, though. Like, we have the ocean nearby and everything. I'm not worried about getting it. You know, we could run a couple hundred blocks and get it pretty easily. Yeah, that's where that cave system was. Which... How long does that take to grow? Um, I, I remember it grows pretty quickly, but I couldn't tell you offhand. Maybe I'll try it for... Th Fish? No. I an arrow at my head. Fish, please. You know what, Elvis? I don't know. Does it only grow in ocean or pop it? I think it grows in any water, because you can do it no, as long as it's on dirt. I think you're fine. Because you could, yeah, because the elevators, you can plant, you can put it in there, so. I think you can just plant it wherever. Well, next elevator I have to make, I'm going to give that a shot. <laughs> you just ignored all that, because I was just like... Yeah, you just use kelp. You're like, oh no, I got it, it's fine. I'm like, okay. Alright, I found a second desert temple. Okay, well I only went and saw one, if I remember, so... If you found another, that's not one I've looted. This one is half buried. Well, to be fair, it's on the same axis as a desert village that I don't think you found. Fair enough, there we go. Okay, I found a safe corner to back into. I must now... Yeah, this one's untouched, but I do not have the inventory room. Fair enough, just, uh, what's the coordinates? Um, negative 269, negative 1200, roughly. Could you type them in chat? I'm looking at four zombies coming my way. I took a screenshot so we can do it later. Okay. Yeah, every time I see something interesting, love, I take a screenshot. Oh, I forgot my boat. Oh, well. Did you lose something again? I kind of forgot to pick up a boat. Fair enough. I mean, I don't see an issue with it personally, but... Oh, it's my inventory is probably full, that's why. What do you mean? Um, I think my inventory was full, so when I, like, broke it apart to pick oh, it up... Yeah, that would do it. I thought I picked it up, and so it'll... Good, that means it'll despawn rather than just... I think you missed Elvis's question, so I'll respond. Is that can he grow it in the jumping pool? And I said I did not know. Well, no, oh, like, oh, that tried tower. Way. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Can Put I... it to use. Ow. Goddamn skeletons. 
Yeah, I did miss that. I'm sorry. Why is there a pig down here? What the heck? I mean, Elvis, I'm also passing through a kelp forest right now. If you want me to pick some up. That is quite the spawnage. Ah, you missed me this time. Oop, that was a miss. There we go. Hold on. I have got to clear an inventory space for it, which is not a problem. Uh, that will do. Strafe. Just strafe. He ran into my arrow. He ran into my arrow nine times. Really, you don't like Chicago, dude? Ugh. What? I had even had a chance to comment. No, no, the skeleton that shot me as soon as I said it. Let's get some light up in here. This is where a lot of spawnage was happening. I was back off in this direction. Pop up a beautiful flower forest for the time being. Okay. Maybe some more torches. There we go. Alright, Elvis, I have a full stack of kelp coming for you. Oh, yep, there's something. It's quite the exposed system, not gonna lie. Back around to here, fair enough. So let's go down here. Always creeps me out when I see floating darkwood trees. Fair. I think that covers that side, so let's go over here. Alright, let's see if I'm allowed back in the village.
Take me to go straight back to Triad Tower. Um, Elvis, where would you like the kelp? There's a kelp chest, isn't there? I was just passing through more doors. Yeah, I'll just bring it to the tower then. I'm I'm on the road. Got it? Oop, that was... Wrong button. There we go. There's the whole stack. All the coal. So, Nick, on my way back, I think I fell into the cave system that you're currently in. Wow. So, I might have left a torch or two behind. Where, did you break a block or something? Because I did hear a, bro a block break around me. I was like, what's that? I no, it would have been. It, it would have been a bit. Oh. Probably not then, actually. Because I'm not in a direct route, for, I think, for you. That wouldn't have made sense. You'd have had to kind of loop around a bit. You might have been in the cave system that I had just finished earlier. So I'm in a different one than the one I was in just a little bit ago. Fair enough. Hey, as long as you're finding stuff, maybe we'll finally find enough iron so I can finish lighting. Most of the Triad Tower area. I mean, we have like five stacks of ingots. Yeah, and I don't want to deplete them as we might need them for other things, so. Just being frugal. Fair enough. Well, I, I did find 21 in the two caves I went into, so. Exposed caves, you know. As you do. As one does. Actually, I mean, if you really want to get some iron production going, we should deal with that zombie spawner. Because with your with a looting sword, um, you can get some iron from that. I'm I'm looking into that. Um, I think that one of the decisions that we have to make, mm -hmm. based on all the designs that I'm seeing currently, yeah, um, is uh, one how automatic we want it to be. And are we using it for items, or are we using it for experience? I guessed it was for experience, was my guess. Yeah, and because the builds are kind of different, and especially depending on your level of automation. That's fair. I so... Green, that's fun. I don't think I want to tackle that now, though, so I'm going to leave it. The ravine's a little tougher to tackle than just a simple cave, you know, so... Okay, villagers, how do we get you to be in the mood? You throw wheat at them. Wheat? Yep. That's usually the best way to enhance the mood. Or any food? Okay, fair enough. I just I know people usually do wheat, probably because wheat is usually just like a, a standard, I just have this wheat left over kind of thing. I thought it was actually better as bread. I don't know. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead then and actually do... Not very happy with me. Oh, I got a pearl, nice. So Elvis has been breeding tuxedo cats. I see no issue with this. Neither do I. Make it rain! Oh, 
Oh yeah, because I know what I was going to explain. So the reason that kelp makes water source blocks is just because that's the way kelp works. And so that's why people do it. It's it's not because there's like any exploit or anything, but it's just that's... It just, it creates... Oh, so... Now kiss! As I make it rain bread on everything! Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. I'm trying, okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, good gods! What? Elvis! This isn't a well! This is a portal to hell! Did he put lava in it by accident, or what? No! It happened. But, oh my god, does it go deep! As well should. Can you grow up on a well? I'm confused. Oh, there's a few creepers over here. Let's turn this way, then. <laughs> Actually, I'm all for it. I mean, I also figured you'd build yourself, like, a big grandiose house in, uh, um, Mordor's. A mayor mansion? A mayor's mansion, yeah, as far as I'm concerned. Or Governor's Mansion, or whatever he wants to call it. There's something to be said for a good old-fashioned evil lair. All right, so we out. Uh, Nick, mm -hmm. we should think about wrapping it up soon. Obviously, you're cave hopping. Yes. Um, sorry, pocket first, my bed. Maybe something in the dark wood. Oh, that's level 25 now. Not bad. Thank you. I try. Oh, that's right. I know what makes the weapon smith. It's the millstone. Oh, fair enough. So much coal.
think I'll just build some more apartments over here. Add more doors to the village. You two look cozy. Make it rain. You're almost done with that cave system, sweetie, or do you want backup? I am not almost done, but I can come back to it. Yeah, we probably should think about wrapping up this stream. Fair enough, then let me go back and grab at least where I come through, and then I'll head back. And we can either finish it off stream or save it for on stream. Yeah, no, that makes sense. stuff to grab and I must grab it. <sighs> I mean a nice lazy afternoon. Oh yeah. I'm just glad you were actually capable of joining the stream. Yeah, and just that worked out nice. Work got done quick and so I'm coming back with about seven stacks of coal. Nice. Are you gonna bring, why don't you just bring some of that to uh well, yeah, I was Mordor's? Gonna go, I was going to go to Mordor. I wasn't going to end at Triad Tower. Battle of Fortune 3 on the coal. Yep. Especially when making lanterns. Use coal for lanterns, do you? Yes, you do. You need torches. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, but that can be charcoal. It doesn't have to be coal. In all fairness. Okay, this is where I came in. So, head out. Yeah, there's still some, some dark areas for sure. We can always add it to the project board for the next stream. Yeah, I know where it is. And like I said, there wasn't too much. It's just it was going deeper than some of the other ones, so I was like, oh, well, let's just keep going. And come back with 41 ar iron after all that, so. No, not bad. Yeah, that's probably better than just branch mining. Depends on the, it depends on the area, honestly. True. To see the wither, and I wonder if a wizard of us. I thought you said we're off to see the wither. I'm like, nah. -uh. That also works, but not right now. I and mean, we saw what happened to Surge the other day. Oh yeah, he was fighting it in the end. No, yeah, but don't really fight the wither in the end. That's that's. What he I is like a much more experienced Minecraft player than we are. Yes. I've also seen James die because he forgot to have food on him. I don't see your point. For those who have no idea what the hell we're talking about, we're talking about... Um, mine O'Clock. Well, Mine O'Clock, which features also another YouTube channel uh, by the name of Serge Yeager. Um, we're hoping that you're already fans of them, but if not, do check them out. Like, mm -hmm. they're just good. And they're fun. They're fun streamers. They're fun... Yeah, honestly, if you'd like, um, um, like, and there's two different ones. There's Surge, which is more, Surge Jaeger, which is more the aesthetic side and building. And then James LRR, I believe is what his is. Yep. 
Um, and he's more just calming, mining, punch a chunk, all that kind of stuff. Which if you don't know what a punch a chunk is, I'll let him teach you. I don't think uh, <laughs> I'd be good. Qualified Although that to is teach. Uh, we're gonna have to get qualified, love, because remember, aren't we like you know planning on doing a boyfriend battle royale at some point First with the. Bad rock battle, boyfriend, bad rock battle, or something. Is that, there you go. There's some alliteration. Yeah, no. The, yeah, that'll work. All right, there we go. I think that'd be fun. That makes sense. Okay, I need to throw some coal in here, just a little. And bit. honestly, if Elvis is on to help us, uh, we don't have to worry about beds. Very true. Okay, well, I am in a safe spot now, so we're probably good to. And so oh, you're in the branch office? I am in the branch office, yes. I came back. It wasn't that far away, it was the cave. It was just, I was hitting up caves as I just went in a direction, and in planes there is a fair amount of exposure of caves. True. So. Well, so, in wrapping up then, um, of course, as as always, feel free to, ch you know, if you want more content to check out, feel free to check out triadgamers.com. Um, there's some more information, there's some videos that have been put out, there's, you know, lots of reading, um, connections to other content creators that we've highlighted, um, as well as also there's in Twitter, uh, and Instagram, at, at Triad Gamers, um, you can feel free to check us out there, interact with us there, uh, if that is more your method, um, otherwise we should be back on stream, I mean, I think I'm still planning on doing tomorrow, I don't see any issues yeah. that, so, uh, probably will be Terra. just, that's the usual Monday stream, but who knows, my, my whims are crazy at this point. Um, so feel free to come check us out then. Otherwise, um, I think we're going to go ahead and cap it there. Now what I'm curious is... Nope, no one really doing Minecraft right now. I was like, that yeah, maybe a raid, but nope, there's not really anyone doing Minecraft. So it doesn't make sense. So I think we're going to just end here. Uh, you all take care of yourself. Uh, keep safe. Stay safe. Uh, play games. Yes, play lots of games. Keep yourself company. You know, keep yourself sane as much as you can. Um, and we'll be around to entertain you in the next stream. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.